Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome to Throwdown, episode 205. I'm your host, Tony Polanco, and I'm joined by Emilio Lopez. What's up, people? How's it going? And awesome to be on a Twitch affiliate. Thanks, guys. Chris Seeley. Hey, what's up, everyone? Carlos Romero. Yo, yo, yo. Brian Monjoma. Yo. Brett Murdoch. What's up, people? And Adam Veer. What's up? Yo, yo, what's going on? Uh, Manny, you and I are back on a podcast again, which is nice after Comic Con. Yeah, uh, yeah, after, after, yeah, after, uh, after, yeah, like Comic Con and all that stuff. I mean, thanks, guys, for holding it down. Cause, yes. Uh, yeah. Good stuff. Uh, so, yeah, as Manny said, we are now uh, Twitch affiliates, people. This is crazy right now, you know? <laughs> um, and as I've said, and I've said this in the video um, that we put up on YouTube, and I'll say it now. Like, if things were better for us on YouTube, we wouldn't have accepted it, but things suck. So we're like, eh, fuck it. This is just a good way of forcing us to, just to finally do it. Although the YouTube guys are still going to get the show just 24 hours later, you know. Hopefully, you know, the 20 to 30 guys that show up every single week show up to that, you know, tonight, which will be fantastic, you know. But, you know, one step at a time, man. So, yeah, we're... uh. It's pretty cool, man. Uh, we're already making money, which is fucking insane. Like, what? How are we making more money, you know, uh, on this shit than on fucking YouTube that we have for years? It's hilarious. Yeah, we, yeah, we have, you know, we have a few subscribers, which is great. Thanks a lot, guys, for subscribing. And uh, we're also working to make things, you know, nice and interesting for you. You know, we have a. Uh, if you may notice, we actually do have a couple of emotes, uh, especially for the for the show. Yeah, let's and, throw them uh, up there, man. Let's see what they got, man. <laughs> working a little harder now that we have a budget that's literally in the tens of dollars yes exactly we're hey, that's rolling more, in that's, it boy i swear that's that's way more money than we were making no money. it is it is and that's that's the funny thing is like i mean we we can grow and do more giveaways and things like that once we have like now we're like wait a minute we have we have a budget like it's that, that's enough for that's enough for an xbox or a playstation card so she yeah yeah i know like that's it I'm not sure of the, the those of you out there who who didn't know this, but we do this mostly on a voluntary basis. Yes, exactly. Yeah, we, 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 you know, we're not we're not in, in general. We're not actually you know we're not totally in. We're not in for the money in this sort of situation. If we were, we would totally have a <laughs> if we were, we, would, we wouldn't be doing this shit. <laughs> we'd be yeah. bad business people. That would be horrible business people. Yeah, we'd have a Patreon and all that other stuff. I mean, most of this stuff we just do because we enjoy you know talking about this sort of fun stuff and everything. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, for those of you, uh, which I'm not exactly tier sure, one, what tier, tier, yeah, tier the one, yeah, tier one, the tier one version of this is <laughs> this fine young, fine young chap, Mr. Torrance Davis. <laughs> yes, so Mr. Torrance Davis is our is our emote for the uh, for the for the lower tiers, and then we also have an, a fun little Bowser one, which is one of my original works. Is also the next tier. We don't have anything for the final tier. We're still uh, talking about what we should do, for, especially for that one. So yeah, stay tuned. And we're also gonna look into, uh, you know, kind of making our, our our little Twitch page to look a little more prettier. Yes. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> shout out guys. to Kingway for the bits. Appreciate. Oh, that. thank you for the bits. I just found out what bits are not on the last. Uh, I think one of the last streams that we did. Yeah. By crazy. the way, I want to give a shout out to. Now we have two moderators. At the same time, uh, Kristen obviously holding down in Mr. Barry Burton, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th no, thank you guys for for jumping in and you know keeping an eye on the you know on the on the chat and everything. Good stuff. You people yeah. are a handful. We've had, had to bring an extra help. Exactly. <laughs> All right, people. Uh, we're gonna do an official oh, yeah. video for this uh, tomorrow, but we're gonna announce it now, people. We're doing another ga game giveaway, people. And whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. Game giveaway. What you talk about, Willis? Yes, and this is for a big one, man. Senran Kagura, man. <laughs> uh, oh man, yeah, yeah. We're giving it away, man. Oh damn it! Who said that? Barry Burn. He goes. Bowser should be tier three. <laughs> it should be. You know, it should be me as Bowser. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this ugly fucking. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna give away a copy of Red Dead Redemption to people. Um, so more details on that soon. You know, by soon I mean literally tomorrow. <laughs> you know, uh, you know how we do on Throwdown, man. Um, so it'll be interesting. Charles, should I give out the rules right now? Or should we wait till later? Mr. Romero. I don't know who Charles is, but yeah, you call him Charles. <laughs> yeah, who's Charles? I said Carlos, yeah. man. But I, 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 I get Charles. Yeah. You did. You did. yeah. Well, it happens. It's funny because that only happens to me when I have Charles and Carlos on. Because then my brain like, whoa, 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 what's going on? <laughs> you know. 
Charlos. Yeah, Charlos. <laughs> Charlos the Cholo. <laughs> Um, I think we, I think we yeah. could uh, at least let them know that you are going to get whoever wins is going to get the option to either get the physical version, the the digital version, and whichever platform they choose that's available. Because obviously, this isn't going to be on a lot of other. Get platforms. that shit on Switch, son. <laughs> well, mm. we we might we, we'll do a pre order for Switch if you want that. Yeah. Um. But yeah, exactly. Um. The only difference with this contest and previous ones is we're not gonna have you follow us on YouTube because fuck YouTube. <laughs> I'm just being honest right now. Yes. But, the, but the YouTube guys they can participate. Obviously, uh, just follow us on Twitch and our Twitter at Throwdown Show, and you're gonna be eligible. 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 Um. But we we got we'll figure out what the contest entails. It's probably gonna be something easy, you know. But see, but the thing is, I can't. It can't be something like, what's your favorite cowboy movie? Nobody watches those fucking things, you know? Um, maybe your favorite uh, rock star I, I'd game. I'd like to hear people's story, uh, favorite stories about Red Dead 1. Mm, that could be interesting. Like, so Because usually we try to do it simple, so you think you we should do Red something Dead like... Red Dead Revolver? Yeah. <laughs> oh. No, 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 not, not that game. Most people don't remember that game. Oh. <laughs> you mean the original Red Dead? Because that yeah. is... Brett, I like the way yeah, you think. Th- there was some weird supposedly it was a different studio and they just slapped the rock star really? name and it was like capcom and all this shit yeah, capcom yeah, was, was a, the first one yeah there's actually a really good documentary about it uh, on yeah, uh, on yeah a, but, on but brett i like the way you think instead of like just going hey what's your favorite rock star game we were like what's your best red dead story i think i like that um but we'll hash all that out in the video also since we are no longer on you know streaming on youtube via restream no time restriction anymore people you yeah, know? we can go. We can go as long as we want, but we're probably going to keep it no. back. Yeah, we're going to keep it. So, but but usual, yeah, usual if time. you've seen some of the other episodes, like it would be like when it's like an hour fifteen. I'm like, all right, guys, we're done. We're done. Nope, no more of that. If we need to go a little over, we go a little over. You know. Yeah, the, and uh, the only reason you know, just under the hood sort of stuff. The only reason why we actually kind of kept it around the you know closer to the two hour mark is because of the because of how long it takes to process stuff on YouTube. Exactly. Uh, we usually need to, well, Tony usually needs to download the episode and convert it for the audio folks. And also, by the way, our, our affiliate doesn't, uh, you know, being an affiliate part of Twitch does not affect the uh, the audio version of our show. That will be on the, the the same night as we, after we go off the air. As a matter of fact, you're probably going to get that a little bit faster since I don't have to wait for anything to render anymore. You exactly. Know? So you're going to you're going to be able to get that. But for those of you who, you know, who are still, to, you know, continue to to watch on YouTube, remember that the show will be con- will uh, be posted 24 hours later from when we uh, are, you know, filming it live, which is right now. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right. I think that's all the vamping we need to do. So let's get into it, man. Um, interesting week for gaming. So first topic here is Microsoft's Project X Cloud, which lets you play Xbox games anywhere. My question to you guys is. Is anyone surprised by this? No. I, I'm surprised with one thing. Okay. The fact that you yeah, could well, use yeah. your controller, your Xbox controller, for a long time, at least on Apple devices, they were a pain in the ass about it. And they're like, nope, now yeah, it's going to work. Know, it's, now it's, they're going to support it. As long as you have, as long as you have the, the, the um, you know, whatever the, co- you know, the, the, the drivers or whatever, you know, whatever program yeah. it's running in has the drivers in it to run it it'll do it in fact that's exactly what you know sony does with their version of uh, you know with um you know the 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 share play and the and you know um, and the, i guess the playstation now the funny thing is that the controller doesn't work in the on a pc normally it only works when the thing is attached to it you know when the, when the app is open you know so yeah. it doesn't that doesn't surprise me no go ahead i'm I, i'm shocked by this Honestly, and I, I have a big question uh, for Chris. Chris, why didn't you say that Microsoft was going to be leading towards games as a service model? What? I, what are you talking about? I've been talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, we all have uh, have seen this coming. Like yep. th- this was in the pipeline. Like as soon, uh, Tony was saying, when, when they're like, oh, when it became X uh, Windows exclusive. Remember Xbox and Windows. Mm-hmm. We're like, this is this this is inevitable, man. The writing is totally on the wall, and everybody is acting surprised. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> by the way, shout out, shout out. Yeah. By the way, shout out to um to Brett for the expert level troll right there. Excellent, my friend. But they, but they said at E three. I don't understand. What do you mean? Like people surprised? He said it. Phil Spencer said it that they were going to offer this new service. 
He said that on three E three when he was showing all the games. He said we got. They didn't, they didn't see that. They just saw all the games. They didn't see that. He just slipped that in left there. Yeah, but no, they didn't we, so have we a, yeah, they we didn't have yeah. a big graphic on the screen. You know. Yeah, but we've been saying this shit for like what years now? Almost it's like gonna, it's yeah. going to happen. They are going to phase out the Xbox as a specific console. Yeah. You will not be able to. Ex- you will. The Xbox will be everywhere. Xbox will be on your PC. Xbox will Xbox will be on your you know on your in your little in your actual you know little uh, set top box. They want you to be able. It's a whole thing. That's just just think. It just replace the word gaming in the yeah. Windows world with Xbox. Yes, That's go, what it is. I'll, I'll go back this far. Like Tony Manny and me did did the the um, stuff right from E3 2016. If you go mm-hmm. back to those shows, we said it right there after we saw the Microsoft conference yes. that year. Yep. It was obvious. It was th- that far back. Mm-hmm. Well, Steambox failed, and it left uh, essentially a, a vacuum in the market that showed some promise. And uh, since you know Steam wasn't supporting it, Microsoft is kind of coming in the other end from it. That's it. If you think about it, by the time they reach their business model, that's what it's going to be. Because there is going to be another Xbox. We already know that, the next one. Yeah. But it's pretty much going to work just like a Steambox. They're going for that idea in that market. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it's going to be. Just they have a better system behind it, Azra. Exactly. You know, I think that in in the situation with Steam, uh, you know, uh, they did not want to fully invest in it. Microsoft in, is already invested in creating boxes, right? Yeah. They're already in created in, in, invested in creating operation systems. All these things. It doesn't take that much of a mental leap to do so, to say, all right. Xbox no. is everything that, that you know is a whole thing that encompasses you know a console. It co- encompasses a PC, and then you could even play Xbox on any everything else out there too, which was exactly the same as the Steam model. Yeah, and it's it's in it's honestly a good business decision. It was it was poor planning for Valve not to back the Steam box enough to actually make it the, a product. They they weren't fully in. Uh, to be honest, no, I think they, they weren't, weren't fully, really invested, fully and invested, and that was their in, problem. And fully invested, and also making because they had there's a lot of stuff that they needed to do. They needed to make a decent, you know, it, you know, they have their infrastructure, but the operation system that they needed for these things, they, they weren't going to do that. I am a bit confused here. I thought the Steam Box was just a hardware box that you play games on, whereas the Microsoft thing seems like it's a streaming service. They seem. Com- to be completely different. Yeah, the, maybe, yeah, they are different. I don't know where, where yeah, we're talking about Steam Box. <laughs> to be honest, I don't yeah, know why we're talking about Steam like, Box. Well, no, the Steam, well, well, the Steam. A portion of the Steam Box. Actually, no, the portion of the Steam Box was was a was a streaming thing as well. Remember? No, I don't. Actually. That was yeah, one of. Like, what you think. I thought no, it was pure hardware. Just, yeah, they're all yeah. just like um like like weird PCs with um Steam OS installed. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. So, uh, but yeah, anyway, I mean, yeah, they're, yeah. They're I about the Steam Link. But, no, no, the thing. no, 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 Brian. I'm talking more about they're they're reaching the same target audience because a lot of Microsoft really? games, they're gonna go, they're gonna be cross buy, and they're gonna be cross play. Like it's they're they're going to usher you into being able to to play through PC or through Xbox, and so Xbox is essentially going to become an extension of their digital platform, which is pretty much the the audience and the the the. Um, marketing plan of the Steam Box, which I is what I'm the, saying. Like, Steam Box was um, console gamers that wanted a streamlined PC experience. Hence that's why what, that's they what made I thought it was too. boxes with the OS installed that like you can play your Steam games without having to build a, build a PC. I mean, it'll essentially be kind of the same thing, though. Like, it'll be no, you, you can play on game. the platform via PC, or you can have a more abbreviated experience through their console. I but thought this. I thought the whole like XCloud thing was just like you stream your Xbox games on what device you want, like on your smartphone or something. So I'm just seeing it as completely different markets here. Yeah, they are. <laughs> They're completely different, to be honest. Um, but anyway, so here's the thing. Um, I want to ask you guys: What is it? Why are some of these companies like pushing the whole stream game streaming thing? Because you know, again, maybe anecdotal on my end, but I haven't really seen too much of a demand for this from gamers. It seems to me like it's I'm trying to push 3D TVs again. It's like no one's really asking for this shit. Like we still haven't really figured out like game streaming. There's still lag to it. You know what I'm saying? At least from my experience. Well, look what's happening with the the new Google service. I heard there's like almost a little to no lag that people are noticing that that thing's amazing. 
And yeah, so you think that's what it is, man? Browser. Well, yeah. here the the problem comes with so. the fucking console, and I have beef here, so I want to I want to say something. Like, fuck you, Sony, and fuck you, Xbox, and and fuck you, all consoles for this shitty network adapter that you put in the back of your console that can only handle like I can get a hundred megs through my PlayStation tops. I have Google Fiber. I have a gig speed, but my PlayStation can't fucking read it. Not when downloading games, not when playing games, none of that. Neither well, can my a lot Xbox of sites or my Switch. also can't do it. It's, that's the thing. It's like I have the, the one gig also, and it doesn't matter. It's also where it's coming from, and if the site's not pushing it, then it doesn't really matter. But my, but my question is, like, how are you going to push any kind of streaming service on a thing with a top speed of 100 megabytes per second? A, a top question. speed. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. That's my thing about this. I, I'm skeptical about it. Here's the thing, because um, on Twitter, I, I talked about it. I'm like, why are people pushing this? And people assumed it was me being against uh, the streaming thing. I'm not against streaming games, right? Uh, my thing is I'm skeptical about our internet speed, specifically in America. You know, we have that bottle um, cap, or whatever, or bottleneck, you know? So I, I'm, that's why I'm like, listen, no matter how, unless you live in a really good place and shit, this isn't really going to be for you, you know what I'm saying? Well, the saying that you only need 10 megabits, you know, <laughs> megabytes. If you only need 10 megabytes, then that, mm. that's like Netflix. Yeah, I mean, that's true, but I don't know, man. It, to, to me, it just seems weird, like, the push for it, you know? So, uh, I have the answer. Netflix. Ne yeah. You guys have seen what Netflix have done for films? So it seems yeah. like they're trying yeah. to kill the shark and that's do the same thing for games. Okay, but Brian, and here's my question to you, right? And I don't, I don't, I actually completely agree with you. They're looking at Netflix that, like, okay, I want that. Um, how much controller input lag is there in a Netflix show? Do you have to worry about that? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you I'm just see what I'm saying? Like, like, guys, it's not exactly yeah. the same, you know? Yeah, but, like, they have seen that as, like, the model. Of, like, okay, they've seen how popular Netflix have gotten, like, doing streaming for movies. So they're like, okay, how about we apply the same principle for games? And we do streaming for games and see if we can be the Netflix or video games. Because like, I don't stream per goddamn TV show. I stream. I, I pay for the whole subscription service altogether. Yeah, like and I'm, like like. I'm not saying that they're smart in doing that. I'm saying that I think that that's their angle, and that's oh, no, why I agree. Push for this. Yeah, no, yeah. that's definitely their angle. They're like, hey, Netflix is popular. Let's do Netflix for games. But well, I, also, yeah, go ahead. it's um, it gives a lot of advantages to the um, to the publishers and and disadvantages uh, customers, and I'll tell you why. By taking the, the, the hardware capabilities out of our hands and putting it in the streamer's hands and mm -hmm. saying, oh, you, your iPhone, your Android phone, your Windows, whatever, you can play whatever you want. Or you can play it on your computer. It doesn't matter the specs, whatever. But here's the thing. Then comes game licenses. Do you own what they provide to you on the stream? And the answer is going to be no, because I guarantee the EULAs they put out, they're going to be like, you're leasing the game from us, and they can pull it at any time. So they have complete control over licensing. Right? They have complete control over what, what content you, you get to, to play. And, and what do you have? You have nothing physical. You have nothing yes. physical. To, you don't own anything. Right? But the, the but ownership is taken away. Yeah. But people don't even care. I mean, we've seen that with music, with the Spotify and all the other services. It's all about just quick access. That's what people want. They don't care about all that stuff. And it's the same thing with music. I remember when uh, MP3 started coming out, people like, I remember in the industry didn't see it as a threat. Because you're like, well, look at the quality. You're compressing a 50 meg audio file to like three or four megs. No one's gonna want that. Sure enough, everybody didn't give a shit. And they're like, yeah, I'll take that over, you know, a large file, and I can dump all this music on my phone. Fuck yeah, I'll do it. And it killed it. So I think that's the same thing we're gonna see here because these games obviously are gonna be compressed in order for it to, to yeah get pushed over a network like that. Oh well, yeah, but no, it's it's good. Yeah, but you, again, you're 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 losing quality if you do that. And then yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, what's the push that. for 4K and HDR and all this bullshit if you're gonna that's get a compressed it. stream? Hey, hey, look at the Switch. Switch doesn't have that shit, and it's selling like hotcakes. So it's proving people don't give a shit as long as it's mobile and they can take their stuff on the go. That's all they care about. Right, but then when people give up that 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 ownership, they're only going to complain about it later oh. when they go, "Oh, you know what? We're not having um, good relationships with Activision, so all Activision tiles are pulled off of Xbox streaming." Oh, then what are yeah. you going to do? Well, right? there's other ways to get it. Go actually physically buy it. That's it. Well, well then, but in next gen, what if they don't have that option? What if they're not pressing disc of it? 
then that's it. Then, we, but I'll. I don't think that'll ever happen because that was the same thing that people complained about with eight tracks and with records. And we can still get that. And there's companies that came out afterwards and say, you know what, that our album was only on CD. We always wanted on eight track or, or uh, I mean, on record. So now you see records. People can buy records. Persona Five was on a record. Yeah, but the problem you is know. we have to push back on that, or else we're not going to get it. They will take yeah. that away because that saves the company money. Yeah, I don't yeah, because I don't they, know, they don't, don't need, because they don't here. know. They get yeah, it because they it don't saves them money. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And the thing is, again, it's like, yeah, we, we're still beholden t- to these companies. But there's a reason why we can't get PT anymore. There's a reason why we can't download uh, the uh, Ninja Turtles the arcade game that, that uh, the remake that y- Ubisoft made. In fact, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World is not available yeah. on anything. So yeah, it, I, that, I don't understand. Manny, you and I talked about this a lot. Why? I, People don't seem to like talk about it as much as they should. Like, guys, no, because you don't it's not own this anymore. A lot you know? of the things, a lot of the things, are things that are not directly in people's faces. This, these are these are things that have to be front row center for somebody to give a shit about. Let's I talk think about also, loot boxes for a couple we're, of seconds. We're in a Uh-oh. different generation. Let's talk though. about a couple. Of, let's talk about loot boxes for a couple of seconds and their and their uh, practices. If you're um, if you if these all these sorts of things that were happening that that uh that ea had been doing for a long time and and uh, mobile phones and all this stuff had been doing all this stuff for a while it was just that star wars was the powder keg that everybody started to see it but yeah, otherwise it, it was off. not an issue you know what yeah. i mean i think also we're a different generation there's, there's people now, the people that are into all these services, they grew up with streaming services already and not having physical. So it's not a big deal for them. Yeah, but the thing is, like, because I'm thinking about collectors too. Like, for example, Chris, you got me Mega Man X, right? Original game. This was like, th- old, like almost thirty year old game, right? I could put that shit on a Super Nintendo right now. The shit'll work. Can you say that about Witcher Three in thirty years? I don't think so. It's gonna need patches and all other shit. Servers won't be up. You know, no one talks about that stuff. You know, <laughs> I mean, well, I mean it, what can you say about it though? Yeah, it's like it's like the it. the user agreement that's five pages long mm-hmm. that you sign, like. Yeah. Nobody fucking reads it. It's just, yeah. it's honestly, it's it's just the way that things are now. And there's no way that you can get around it. Like, even if you buy a physical game, it you already have to have a, a day one patch or it can be, you know, uh, rendered inert or, or, or something like that if you, you do patch it to the internet. You heard what happened with the Call of Duty, the new one. You see all these people that uh, got the early copy, they couldn't play it. It needs a patch. It's unplayable. Yeah. You have to go online and get a patch. That's what I'm Is saying. Right? People aren't thinking it's about the fact that these games patch. won't be playable in 20 no, years. You know, That's the yeah. thing. We've already lost that battle. That's why they're not yeah. thinking about it. Like this mm. is a battle that took took place 20 years ago, and now we live in the Empire. Like that's that's it's the way of it. it. Yeah, you cannot get a game that doesn't do that. Like yeah. when they started doing that, and we were bitching about it, we didn't push hard enough, and now it became pervasive throughout the industry and it's just kind of the norm and kids now they're like eh, this is the norm this is what i've grown that's up with exactly and you can be like well, there, there used to be a time when they couldn't take a game away from you like that's great grandpa you could keep yeah, all exactly. five games that you had yeah, yeah. no I, I i don't disagree i'm not happy about it but i i, I see where you're coming from but it, anyway going back to um you know xbox specifically right because uh, we're a little bit over place by the way i need to say this you know it is very liberating that i don't have to worry about a fucking time limit anymore I'm like hey, let these guys talk i don't give a fuck this is great you know um so anyway so how do how, you think this is gonna help microsoft in the long run and if it's successful will we see sony maybe nintendo doing it what do you guys uh think on how good that service is man. yeah yeah and it has to be but hypothetically speaking if it's if it's good will this be mm-hmm. the norm you know no it will be the norm as an option for a game service. Yeah, I think for gaming it will be. I don't think it's going to replace everything, but I think, say, if you want to travel, if you're one of those that, like, listen, I just have my iPad and I want to carry a little controller with me. Yeah, you want to be that guy? Yeah, it'll be the norm if it's that good, at least a service for them. You know what I mean? But I don't think it's going to replace what we have now. No, I don't think so. People I think still it's want physical. of the table, though. Okay, like, go ahead. It's, it's, it's part of a larger plan to unify their platform and make it a service platform where you can just download games and if you don't like i've noticed something when i play on playstation i think everybody's gotten used to current consoles doing this when you run out of room you go back and you delete the games that you bought digitally knowing that they're just still purchased in a cl- in the cloud and you can download them later if you want to replay them you keep your save file it's saved separately so you delete a couple games that you know you're not going to be coming back to for a while 
and you play the memory the memory shuffle like that idea is is going to become the uh, the idea that you can purchase all these games you can have access to all of these games you can download them pretty quickly and then play them as much as you want and then clear up to to use the next the next game like that's going to be also another leg of that that kind of table where they're unifying that platform so you'll be able to stream games if you have the memory uh, you'll be able to like drop on a couple of games, pull pull them off, just leave them on your you know leave upload your your saves to the cloud, leave your games on the cloud, just digitally download three games into your available data, and then you have access to 500 other streaming titles while on the go, and that's that's going to be the the platform that they present it as, and that I think is going to be a successful platform, but I don't think it's just going to be because of the streaming service. It just it it's. It's the potatoes and the steak and potatoes. You know, it's it's not the main thing, but it, it rounds out the service. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. I, but again, I find it interesting because we had on live that that bombed. Uh, PS Now is still around, but people kind of don't like it. It's a service because it's a service. That's what I'm saying. This Azra, it's it's a great service. It's been in the enterprise field for a long time. So if they can get it down packed working where there's like no real difference, you're like, damn, I don't experience any lag. This looks great. Then they're going to win in that space because, like you said, all the competition just isn't on par. Yeah, no one exactly. cares for it. Just and, and here's something I kind of realized when I was talking about it, because I was saying, you know, my argument was like, listen, even if it's imperceptible, there's still lag. But then I realized I get, I'm like, wait, if it's imperceptible, then who the fuck cares? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So that's something to consider, you know? Not only that, this could actually help the gaming industry because this will kill the mobile gaming market of all those shit games that keep coming out. Because people will be like, damn, I could just play high quality. Why am I spending, you know, 10 bucks <laughs> nah, on this crap ass game? That ain't going to happen. Ain't gonna happen. You, know, you know what so. it's going to hurt, though? It's going to hurt Chris's favorite uh, store, GameStop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. GameStop, I think man. I think a lot of this sort of stuff is definitely to, 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 to kind of kill off a lot of them. I mean, granted, GameStop is probably the one store that does take advantage of all of this sort of, you know, the used game market. Yeah. By the way, shout out to Jace, a uh, bunch of numbers for following us on Twitch. Thank you. Appreciate. Thanks that. a lot, man. Um. Yeah, you're right about that. Anyway, um, I we'll get back to our 58 uh, user base. On yeah. Here. Right. Yo, I need, but I need to bring up something else. What I found interesting. I didn't talk about this on Twitter. Obviously, I'm not, I'm trying to be a good boy now, but I got to bring it up. Got to bring it up. Right. I'm a good boy now. I find it funny that the same guys, I'm just going to say it, I'm Xbox guys, I find it funny how these dudes shitting on PSN for fucking years, right? And then recently, they're like, listen, man, I am play I play games in 4K now. I can't go back to 1080p ever again, right? Now, these same dudes praising this. Oh, this is the future. Game streaming is the future. Oh, it only runs at 1080p? That's fine. We don't need that shit. I'm like, oh, that's you, you interesting. Can't hate you can't hit all of them. Everybody does it. It's like, you know, they're fans. They're fans. Doesn't yeah. matter. It's just like when, uh, with sports teams, you know, all the time when a player who is on uh, your opposing team for the longest time, and you, yeah, hate you hate him. Yeah. He joins your team. You fucking love him. You buy his jersey tomorrow. No, I, I get that. I just find it. I just find it interesting. Like these guys, well, like well, a, not, a day well, beforehand, when yeah. it comes to certain yeah. sports teams, yeah, they hate true. their guts even when they're on the team. Because when was this announced? Like Monday, right? I believe it was Monday or Tuesday, right? I wonder it was if it early was, in the week. Yeah, you, basically the day before. If you were to ask any of those guys, what do you think about game streaming? Oh, PS now is bullshit. Fuck that shit. Then the next day, oh, it's Microsoft. This is fantastic. <laughs> so I just, I just find the hypocrisy very interesting. You know, now, now these guys love game streaming. They love 1080p resolution. You know, what happened? I thought 4K was the shit. I thought 1080p was dog shit. What happened? <laughs> what well, I think uh, at least people that I know that they're, they're really into Xbox. The one thing they're hyped about, and I guess I would be too. You know, Chivo's on the go. Big time Chivo's on the go. Yeah, that's a you good know? thing. You know, you can start earning your gaming what your profile carries over. So let's say if you have your tablet and stuff, you're on your lunch break, you get to play some, you know, you progress, especially in these big games, let's say like uh, an RPG or something, and then go to your console at home and then you can continue on. That's awesome. Yeah. By the way, I saw uh, like a comparison thing because they had like an Xbox controller and it had like a tablet or a phone, whatever attached to it. It was a phone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So basically somebody took, you know, took that screenshot. And then they showed a similar screenshot from like five years ago of a PlayStation controller doing the exact same thing. It's hilarious, you know. Yeah, But I mean, just but, uh, yeah. to defend with Microsoft with some of it. I mean, a lot of things that they were advertising with the xbox one to do people were bitching and now people accept it like uh, always online games they were like oh what you always have to get your, your box once a week come on now that sucks all these games are requiring that shit 
you know, and always having to get updates and stuff like that. That's why they always want you on. Everyone's doing it. That's just it's the norm now. But it was just like they were a little bit too soon because everybody hated it. But yeah, remember when Xbox was announced? Different remember that, Adam? When they announced the Xbox and, they, and people wouldn't, they were like, oh, yeah, this is going to have DRM, all this other shit. People were like, what yeah, the fuck? What you, what people didn't understand. I mean, one of the great services that they were offering, and no one could have picked it up for some reason. It's like the whole fact that you can share your game library with your friends and family. If you had friends on your list that were more than 30 days, you can share the games that you weren't playing with them. That's fucking awesome. And people shit on it. I don't want to shit or anything. I don't want to do anything. Are you kidding it's not, me? It's not the share. It's not the share part. I don't think anybody had an issue with the share part. No, they're I not. Think, yeah. I think just people just had the, had the issue with the fact that you had to kind of chime in every single time to let the console know or let Microsoft know that you're you're using this game. Yeah, the digital handshake. Like, but but, but, but the alternative like once a week. It was like once the, a week. That's the switch. The switch is once a week. Yeah, the alternative. No, it wasn't. It was twenty four hours, wasn't it? Twenty four yeah, hour handshake. It was, yeah, it was. It, was, it wasn't they a week. It was like they changed it. They when they that was a misinformation because I remember Larry Herb had to come out and says no, 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 no. It's once a week. Once here's a the week. Thing, I think the, the thing is that you know here's the, the the problem with 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 doing that in anything. Why do you need to confirm that you've already bought something? Yeah, you know what I mean. It's like it's like it's, it's like it's like it's like it's like it's like going out to cloning your account. That's it's all. Like, that's really what it comes down it, to. But that's their fault. If they if their freaking consoles can't remember if you bought something or not, then that's something that's a problem on their side. You shouldn't need to constantly it, have to to well, chime in to, it, tell, it happens, to tell it that it's there. It's no different what's on your PC. You just notice it because your PC is always online. Your PC well, does the same thing. You have Office. No. Well, if you have Microsoft <laughs> Office, it's always, it's always pinging. It nope, always does. Never, it never. The, I don't. I don't use any of those. Uh, I don't use a, a I Photoshop. Does the, uh, Photoshop does the same thing. Photoshop does the same thing. But I don't yeah. use that version of Photoshop because just for the plain reason, I don't need to. I feel I shouldn't need to tell a company, "Hey, yeah, I already bought this thing." It's listen, I bought it. That's it. Yeah, check this out. Um, Agent Redshirt, what's going on, man? Uh, he goes, Steam and Origin on PC does that as well, guys. Um, yeah. I, after the serv um, after servers go down, he goes, um, I after a week, he said he moved and was offline for a week. After a week, my games wouldn't run. Yeah, man. Yeah, a week. Yeah, but that's exactly Ooh, that. And that's I, been around. That's been the policy. And for some reason, Brian, I want your take on that. Box, can I just just, freak just jump in like really quick? Um, because there was a time when I moved house and I was offline for almost a month, and my game still ran fine. This was back when I played Arkham City, hmm. and I had no issues. So, hence, unless this is a recent thing, because my move was like two years ago, three years ago. So, so if it's recent, then it means that they changed the, the policy because I was fine with that. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so we got two different stories there. Um, anyway, any anything else you guys want to say about uh, Project X Cloud? I, you know, I mean, I, I mean, it's 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 it, the writing was on the wall, to be honest, and it's I, I can't say if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, they're doing they're doing it. It's going to happen. And if you're, you know, at least for, for for you know the Microsoft service, you know, as much as you know, as far as the 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 you know that that sort of you know fan base goes, where they kind of just let everything go, it's going to happen. Xbox yeah. is not going to be the Xbox is not the end. Just think of it as the beginning. Oh boy. Um one last thing um Brian he says that he moved about a year ago and he was offline for 2 months and he couldn't play his games afterwards. Okay, yeah, cuz I know that Steam's one is 28 days. Yeah. Um Reggie, what's going on, brother? Uh yes, Chris did speak on it, but Chris, do you have any final thoughts on this just for Reggie? Oh, yeah, I I think that it's a, it's definitely a win lose. You lose ownership, and uh, that's a big thing. It's a win for the companies. They save money. They saves money. They can uh, offer you whatever they want. They get total control over licenses, so they can revoke anything at any time. You can't say anything. You buy your games now, especially older games. You own that. Shit. You can play it whenever you want. But this stuff, they they decide to pull stuff down, or Activision or whatever uh, cuts a deal with someone else, they'll pull that shit, and then you lose access to the game. So it's all about access. You got to think about that. Here's yeah. the thing, like here's the crazy sort of thing. Like, what if, and this is possible, and you know, a lot of people talk about exclusivity. What if somebody signs some sort of exclusivity deal, yeah. and they lock oh, yeah. Microsoft out of it? 
Yeah, you can't play Call of Duty on your shit you now. You can't play you know? Call of Duty. You be a, might be able to play the, uh, you know, the maybe the physical version because they don't want to lose no money. But let's say, yeah. for the sake of conversation, Activision says, you know what, we signed a deal with uh, Sony to have exclusive Call of Duty games only on PlayStation Now or whatever. It's a possibility. Same yeah. thing with Microsoft. I mean, you guys. I mean, it's, it, it happens with if we're talking about the realm realm of, realm of streaming. It happens with Netflix all the damn time. You ever notice that there's certain movies that don't aren't on Netflix? Well, yeah, because there are a lot of those studios are creating their own services. Like, you know. but some of them have also signed exclusivity deals as well. Yeah, Brett, were you gonna say? Exactly what Manny said. Okay. That you see it happening on Netflix all the time. You see content disappearing because somebody signed rights to somebody else or they signed a contract with another streaming service and got exclusivity or they're trying to do their own streaming service and so they pulled it like and they don't even necessarily get noticed. You'll be in the middle of watching something and then go back and be like, Oh, well the last two seasons are gone? Like why the fuck is this? Yeah. some sort of weird contractual bullshit. So don't think that can't happen with games too. You know what no. I'm saying? It's going to happen, so just be aware of that. Would that be considered anti-consumer at that point, too? Well, is it considered anti-consumer now when Netflix does it? I don't know. See? Because you're not paying for those games. You're paying for the service. You understand? I think eventually as time goes on and as space becomes uh, no longer an issue, these games are going to soon turn like the way ROMs are. You know, oh, and there's this website that has that game. Just go download it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's I, what they're trying yeah. to avoid. Yeah, I think that's what exactly. It's but it's going to happen when you have all these streaming services, and you know you're getting all these games in all the formats. It's going to happen. Yeah. All right, man. Let's move on here. Uh, st- still sticking with Microsoft. This is interesting because you know during E3 they um, announced like they bought a bunch of studios. Right now uh, they acquired a pretty big one, uh, Obsidian. Man. So um, I don't is know. Is that confirmed? That's confirmed. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, the, I mean, it's not confirmed. It's still you know. Um, a rumor, at least, or at least, uh, yeah, but yes, yeah, a rumor from Dacian Schreier, who we're gonna talk about later. You know, um, Obsidian, they, to him. yeah, they're they're known for making like sequels. You know, like they did Knights of the Old Republic two, they did uh, New Vegas, so they're a pretty big. You know, I love Obsidian. Yeah, so yeah, Microsoft owning them is a pretty big deal. You know, so what do you got? Yeah, Brett, since you were talking, go ahead. What do you what do you make of this? If it's true. That's- I, th- this is the first time that I've heard heard about Microsoft acquiring a studio. And I really went, oh, oh, shit! That actually hurts as a, as a mostly play. Like I'm glad I have an Xbox. Uh, oof, that that one that one hits me in the feels, man. But, but I like mean, you said, they did they did Kotor two and and uh, Vegas, New yeah, Vegas, Monica, New Vegas. No, New Vegas, I mean, yeah. I mean yeah. it's, it's, is, I is it really that that good of a thing? That good of a thing because a lot of their a lot of their work is all iterative work. None of the things that they've created are things that they specifically created. It's just, hey, we couldn't do the sequel, so let's get Obsidian to do it. I mean, the only yeah. good thing I can see out of Obsidian is that this situation probably allowed them to make. Their own their game. own games, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to add an yeah. addendum to that. It's not so much that they're known for being able to make passable sequels to games; they're known for making other people's games better than the people who made them to begin with. Wait, are you saying Kotor right, Two is better than the first down. one? Hold on, bro. A lot of people feel like Kotor Two is better than the first one, and there, there's a good chunk of the Fallout fan base that feels like New Vegas is the best game. Interesting. Because I, I've Obsidian heard that was yeah. it, Obsidian was made from the uh, remnants, I believe, of the original studio who helped make the Fallout games. Yeah, I know. I've heard a lot of people say they like New Vegas more than Vi- uh, Fallout Three, but I've never heard anyone say Kotor Two is better. Um, you know, quite they say a Kotor, lot of people yeah. liked Kotor Two more than Kotor One. Interesting. Okay, and it's now that, I know. That was, that was the whole Revan saga, wasn't it? Um, I don't know. I didn't play those games. <laughs> oh, their violence and empathy is calling bullshit on you, Brett. <laughs> Oh man! But it's true though. People do like New Vegas more, man. Or some people do. Well, well I some mean, people you know, do. I'm not saying. I'm not all saying. I remember is, is, yeah. is New Vegas for the fl- for the heads with the, that flipped around each other. That's all oh, I remember. Yeah. That. I, yeah. I'll be honest. I'm I'm not on that team. Yeah, he says. Yeah, see, shout out to Chewbacca. Revan Saga was the first Kotor, says um, Agent Red Shirt. So there you okay. go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Personally, um, I I. And I know this will probably get me heat from the other side. Uh-oh. New Vegas wasn't my favorite Fallout. I don't think it was inherently better than the other ones. But a lot of people, a lot of people argue with that. Like Obsidian is kind of a revered studio amongst self-professed hardcore RPG nerds. So honestly, I think New Vegas was so like 
got so much uh, like so much of a boost because people weren't expecting much from it, especially since Bethesda wasn't doing it. So I think that's why that's why a lot of people revere. It's like, oh shit, this did way better than we expected to, and it did take a little bit of a twist, but it, it it was essentially Fallout Three with a new a new uh like map pack pretty much. Yeah, hey Manny, check this out. So last year Obsidian did announce that they're working on a new RPG. You know that's going to be exclusive on Xbox now. Oh yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm saying. Do your own what, thing, man. Maybe that's what they saw. And they're like, we want that. And yeah. Like, well, it costs a lot. Of money. You know what? We want you. What? Yeah. Well, I, you know, maybe, maybe the thing is that maybe what the, what Microsoft saw in that comp in that company, whatever, whatever they had version of they had or what they had running, maybe Microsoft said, "Hey, yeah, maybe we need our own RPG that we're known for." You know, it's a good which point. It's a good great. point. Yeah, because when Microsoft, what's their big RPG? They don't have one. It should yeah. have been Mass Effect. To but be to honest. be but to be fair, what's Sony's big RPG? <laughs> you know, kind of like here's the thing, like Nino like Kuni. Sony. So, no, mm, not even. Nino yeah, Kuni. that's a that's a Namco game. I mean, you know, Rogue Galaxy. They have a lot of ones from the past. You know, for PlayStation One and Two and parts of Three, they have their own set. I mean, the Dark Cloud series that was all a Sony exclusives. Wait, um, wasn't fucking White Knight Chronicles a Sony thing? Look how well yes. that did. Oh, <laughs> no, was, oh dude, yeah. hold on. This is this is relevant. Okay, I was right. A lot of their history comes from the fact that they were originally. Uh, Black Isle Studios. Yes, and that's right. Black Isle Studios pretty much got closed down and reformed under a new name mm -hmm. in order to get out from contract. And Black Isle Studios games include like Baldur's Gate, Fallout 2, Icewind Dale, yeah, um, Stonekeep 2. They, they had a, they had a shitload of, of classic so they, games. So yeah, nice. so they have a so their previous selves have a, a, a you know a long lineage. Yeah. All right, so there you go. I mean, I, you know, it's a good thing for Microsoft, man. They need to be buying studios like that. I praise them when they announce all those other studios, and I give them props for this one too. You know, good you on know, them. And it, and it just, it just, I just hope that they let these studios do the things that they do. Uh, you know, it's great to be, you know, picked up by a big company, you know, like that. But then when they start to stick their nose in and start saying, "Hey, you should start making this game," that's when I feel that that's that becomes like a problem. The only reason why a lot of these, you know, the, why The Last of Us exists is because Sony said, do what you want to do with this. Because they have a very sort of hands-off sort of approach with it. It's like, okay, you have this idea. This sounds like a good idea. Take it. That's how Horizon Zero Dawn well. came to be. That's how yeah. Horizon Zero Dawn came along. That's how a lot of the big Sony franchises came along. Because they trusted the studios that they had under them to say, all right, do this. Yeah. By the way, Agent Redshirt is right. Um, Microsoft did destroy Rare, unfortunately. They, you know? Yeah, they did because because they didn't know what to do with Rare. Yeah, they had them making fucking avatars and shit. They had didn't them they? making ha avatars, and then the two games that they had them make, which were just kind of mediocre games, because I also feel like they're you know like ba Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, and we're talking about Viva Pinata. Oh, they connect, have yeah. Yeah, you know, we have the Connect Sports games. You have all these games that are, you know, really that don't take advantage of the of what Rare is. But I don't even think Rare is what it is anymore. Yeah. All the guys that that made Rare what it is are probably gone because what were they doing? Making avatars. Yeah. By the way, Sodep, what's going on, brother? He goes uh, that Obsidian, not Obsidian, that uh, Rare was already in shambles beforehand, and they destroyed themselves. It's interesting. I don't have enough information to go on that. I assume Microsoft fucked them up, but that's true. What was Rare really doing big before that? I mean, they, they what they just made, uh, you know, uh, the last thing that they did was like a perfect dark game, uh, stuff like that, and that's just yeah. like stuff that just doesn't hold a candle to it. I mean, again, Rare wasn't was missing that that factor. Those those key folks that made those those classic games that everybody loves, all those guys were gone. Like, what yeah, was they, the it, yeah, the yeah, they they former, went. You know, yeah. some of the guys went over to make the Time Splitter games. The guys who made Banjo Kazooie, they went somewhere else. You know, all these guys just all split up. Yeah, Kristen says that they went to go form a Playtronic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, ukulele. That's yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, crazy. They probably they probably were just sitting there twiddling their thumbs. It's like, okay, uh, what are we doing? More avatars? Uh, can mm -hmm. they let us make a game? Nah. No, nope, <laughs> you make avatars now. Uh, well, there was I a mean, yeah. There was a scandal in the studio. I didn't know that. Interesting. What are you gonna say, Manny? No, no. Go ahead. Yep. No. Um. Yeah. You know, Obsidian. There you go. I, again, it's a good thing. You know. You know, Microsoft needs some studios, man. 
And what if they? What if they? What if they? You know, I was I was even thinking this a long time ago when they when um, Microsoft had uh, Sucker Punch make uh, was it Sucker Punch? Insomniac. No, no Insomniac. Insomniac. They had Insomniac doing uh, you know Sunset Overdrive. Uh, man, I, if they had to pick those guys up, man. Mm. Yeah, but I think I think Insomniac wanted to stay independent. You know. Yeah. Yeah, because they. I mean, they they did an Xbox game before that. Like it was like I think time exclusive. Well, this is like last gen. That was that other game. Um, the one that kind of went went oh, to the wayside. That really wasn't developed. Was it properly. Resistance? No, it wasn't. No, Resistance. No. It was well, not Fuse, was it? Yeah, it was Fuse. Was it Fuse? Yeah, I think it was. It was like the one after Resistance. That? Yeah, that was the one. Yeah, that, they, that, yeah, they like, made it. They, yeah, remember that trailer? The trailer that everyone was like, "Oh man, this looks great. It's all fun and stuff." And then the game came out. It was all stupid and serious. Yeah, but but that was like. Like remember that 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 came out exclusively on Xbox, I think for a, like a certain amount of time, mm-hmm. and it's and then then they released like Ratchet and Clank on PlayStation, then they did Sunset Overdrive. So it's like they're just they're they're riding their own wave. They're not really sort of catering to anybody. I remember I played Fuse at like a EA event, which was like the first big gaming event I've attended, and the guy who was running me through the game was none other than Ted Price. It was pretty awesome. Um, and also, because it was it was happening in a little hotel, you know. So as soon as I leave the room, what I hear, "Hey, yo, Tom!" I'm like, "Oh, hip hop game!" Oh man! All right, uh, let's move on here. Okay, <laughs> here's a some of the things that are a huge fucking shock. Sony is officially working on the PlayStation Five. Didn't they say this already? Nope. Oh, my is, God. Yeah. I wish one of us would have figured that out and said something before now. Yeah. So Sony officially made it like, yeah, we're working on next system. Like, yeah, well, no shit. Of course shit. they're working on the next system. You guys acted like I was fucking crazy when I said no, it was no, already. No, no, we didn't. No, 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 no. no, no. It, it was, it, it was it a, well, the first time. The first time. Were, when did you say it? Three years ago? Like, two? Yeah. Maybe two. The thing no. is, the thing about it is that they've been working on it ever since the pro, son. You know? They kind of already made this sort of announcement already with, the, you know, before they were like, "Yes, we are kind of working." Journey was during the world, pretty much, like yeah. developers and getting their. Yeah, their getting stuff. yeah, like developers are getting mm-hmm. specs for for the new console. Yeah, hell yeah, they're doing it. Yeah, so this remember we made the joke. He's like, Mark Cerny's putting people to sleep all around the world. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah right. that's right. We're gonna tell you about these ships, Manny. Do, do Mark Cerny. T- I'm gonna tell you about the new PlayStation. <laughs> it's the most powerful console that has ever been made. What? And it will allow you to do everything you ever wanted to do. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, this um, is so exciting. it'll let I, you plant. I, it'll let you plant a tree, and then you uh, can watch no. it grow. <laughs> I, 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 I love that they do lead world. out. I love that they do lead out the most powerful console in the world. No shit, asshole! It's the new one. Of course, yeah, it's going to be the most powerful. All, yeah, all, all right, so now now it's official. Microsoft announced their joint. You know, during E3, now Sony. Now the question is, and uh, Agent Redshirt, thank you for asking this question. 2019 or 2020? When is this shit dropping? 2019 or 2020? Yeah, I'm going to say 2022, man. It's Twenty-two. They're gonna wait. Who? Many. They're gonna. They're gonna wait nine really? years. No. Nah, man. 20. It's not nine years. Yeah, it is. Dude, in 2022. The that's nine years after PS3, PS4, man. Yeah, wait nine years. But they can't. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> part of that market, so they're yeah. like, no, we had a new version. Yeah. I know I've no, been flip flopping, but I'm I'm going with 2020. Yeah. They, they're gonna they'll announce. Show, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the E3 2019. They'll, they'll they'll announce it. It'll be at the end of the conference. They're like, oh, did the lights yep. go out? There yep. it is. Oh, shit. Uh, actually, Chris, I disagree. This is what I think is going to happen. The year it drops, let's say 2020, right? They're going to announce it um, February, right, of that year, and then they're going to actually launch in November, pretty much copying how the PS4 was launched, you know, because it worked well. But they could do it at PSX. They may think about it like this: conspiracy theory. Right? There now. is no PSX. Oh, no, 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 no. Conspiracy, here's... conspiracy theory. I think there wasn't a PSX this year because they want to have you know next year's PSX. That's where they're going to announce the shit. Be that's also possible. So, too. so you think Sony's just going to let Microsoft walk away with E3 when they announce their new console this year, huh? Um, but Microsoft isn't going to announce their shit at E3 either. They're going to do their own event, just like they did with the uh, Xbox One. Yeah, remember the the, the whole TV, TV, TV uh, con- uh, conference was at the beginning of the year. Yeah, then, it was. And it then was the E3 was like yeah. weeks. 
Mm-hmm. E three E three was more like a you know was a was by draw, the way pulling uh, it back a little bit. Yeah, I, I do right. want to say that because everybody um even to Lizzie assumes that Microsoft announced the Xbox at E three. No, they didn't. They announced it two months before E three, and they announced it a month after Sony announced their shit. You know, so just, just remember that. So yeah, um, I same thing with Microsoft. I believe they're going to announce their shit on their own. They're not going to do it at E three. You know, um, but yeah, which one's going to come to market first? We talked about this before. I honestly don't know. I think they made both drop in 2020, you know, yeah. which will be good for uh, the gamer, you know, because like having one system come out before the other is kind of confusing, you know. Oh, yeah. Know. By the way, yeah, the, the announced and reveal. Yeah, I think they'll get announced and revealed in two separate events. Yes. Yeah. Because my uh, the Xbox, I, I remember, like was announced and then revealed like on E3, I think. No, no, no. I, again, I got to correct you. I just corrected you two minutes ago, man. E3, <laughs> Xbox was not announced at E3. It was announced at its no, own no, no. event. Revealed was, at E3. Was he saying it was revealed at E3? Revealed no, at it E3. wasn't revealed at E3. Revealed, revealed like revealed they showed the console. E3. They no. showed the console beforehand. Did they? Yeah, they did. That big ass fucking box. You know, so that so that the box like they showed the box in in the pre three like press yes, conference. Yes, yes. Okay. But but the point is, even if they didn't show the box, they still revealed the existence of the Xbox. Yeah. You know, so, at, okay, at the okay. Show. They, yeah. they will. They will. Uh, they'll, they'll announce at the beginning of 2019, and I think they'll we'll see it at E3 2019 with a 2020 release. Okay, interesting. Uh, I, don't what, think I don't know. I think they're gonna they're gonna announce it the same year it's dropping. I don't think they're gonna yeah. wait. Yeah, that's just crazy because you're gonna cut sales of your co- current console. You know, like if they announce the the system next year and then they drop it in late 2020, people are not gonna buy PS4s anymore. Sony's not gonna do that. That's stupid. Microsoft ain't gonna do that either. You know. So Neither's yeah, Nintendo. I don't think Microsoft. Uh, that I know I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I don't think Microsoft's gonna wait longer than till 2020. No, they, I agree they, with that. I agree. They with want that. their market share back. They yeah. they want to dominate this year's uh, E3. Yeah, that's my bold prediction. I think both systems are dropping twenty twenty. Yeah, because they, they, they don't want to get a uh, they they don't want the other one to get a leg up on the other one. You know, and the new Switch will be twenty nineteen. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The upgraded one. That's true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, here's the question: Could Microsoft pull uh pull it out of the bag and get a new system to market by twenty nineteen? Because if they could, I sure as shit believe they're going to try. Well, but I don't know if that's feasible. It's not feasible because the freaking X released last year. The X, like, that's what, yeah. two years? Oh, yeah. Like, do you know how much, like, R&D? Yeah, Nintendo does that shit all the time, though. No, no, but this this was, like, an actual decent upgrade. Like, not like Nintendo's just going to add a, a nub or a refreshed uh, LED screen or a better battery or something. But fucking Microsoft put like a lot of a lot of money into that SOC chip because that SOC chip is pretty sick for the Xbox One X. I doubt they'll they'll just two years like unless the X was a complete flop, they wouldn't have they they, they wouldn't I release it. I, I think yeah, I think yeah, it, I think the X did what it was supposed to. No more, yeah. no less. You know. Yeah. So they're um, I think they're they're going to try to ride this wave until at least twenty twenty because. Two years after the X dropped, I think it seems because think about it. It's it's two years after the X drops is the release, but like the announcement is way before that. So you're undercutting, like like Tony said, you're undercutting the the potential of, of sales for the consoles when these things get announced. Because why yeah, would you're just looking at the one facet of like alienating their their hardcore crowd who are pretty much going to be just customers no matter what. Like the people who bought that are. Are your most hardcore rabid customers? Meanwhile, you've got a, a one third market share and shrinking until you do something drastic to reset the, the cycle. I don't. I don't think that. I think that the larger overall numbers of shrinking market share are more terrifying to them than than alienating customers who are probably going to follow them no matter what. So think about it like this. I don't think they're. Al- hold on. I, they're not alienating. Um, you know, hardcore fans. They're alienating like regular people that'd be like, "Hey, yeah. I'm not buying that shit. I'll wait." You know? Exactly, like little Timmy's a, is in middle school with his all his little friends gathered around in recess, and everyone's talking about the new Xbox, the new Xbox Two, and and it, and little Timmy doesn't have the Xbox One or the Xbox One X. Do you think little Timmy's gonna go tell his mom to buy him an Xbox One X? Nope, he's gonna wait. You know, so no, but what, nobody's yeah. buying an Xbox One X now. That's the thing. No, well, the potential's there. 
I'm just saying that you're getting rid of that potential. The potential's not there. They're going to lose their market, the, the the second largest market share to Nintendo by 2019. That is true. Cool. But the, they're, like, they're, that's, they're, just, they're, that's just they're the uh, slowest huge. selling console on the market. The X? Or Xbox, Xbox in, in general. general. Well, not no, even the X. Not the X. X is the slowest selling uh, version of the Xbox. So, yes, the Xbox mm. One X is the slowest selling version of any console we, on the market. We saw it. We saw it. It was reported somewhere that the X was outselling the PS4 Pro in one of the months. It was, yeah. When it when it first okay. came out, it was, it was hey, definitely maybe, doing Maybe PS4 Pro takes that title then. Yeah, but but I, I, I don't think they're going to undercut their shit because they don't want to lose the casuals, you know. Um, but yeah, it, I'm sticking with it. Um, 2020 I'm, for both of them. Chris, I want to know what you think on this. Uh, I agree, except uh, it's gonna. There's 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 two lessons here. Well, Sony hasn't learned any lessons because they've been leading the pack, so they're just gonna be like, yes, stay the course. I think Tony's right on that one. Microsoft is gonna depend on a lot. They're, they the, these studio purchases are a huge marker that they learn from the X that you can't just throw out hardware. And expect that to solve your problems. Like they need games to launch on there. If they're not, if they don't have the games ready to launch this thing, they might as well not launch it. Like, and I hope that's the lesson they learn. Because if they come out 2020 the same time as PS5 and they don't have any titles, then they're screwed all over again. You go into a new, another generation uh, that's lackluster for them. They can't have that again. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, uh, I'm wondering. I no, I, I was gonna, I was gonna ask. Do you think some of these um, studios that they bought are going to have games ready? No, they're not. Maybe one or two, but nah. Well, there's one studio that, that had a game in development. I forgot which one. Oh, God damn it. The, the We Mighty Few people, right? I think so. One of them, oh, like an FPS or something? I don't know. Yeah, but I, I don't think Ninja Theory is going to have a game for day launch. You know what I'm saying? Now, will um, they hold back stuff? Or I don't know how it's going to work in the transition period, but the next Gears... And stuff will they extend that development so it's a dual generation? Yeah, that's a good question. Here's the thing I, I want to bring to you guys because um, I don't really do this very often, but I actually listened to a gaming podcast the other day. It was um, what? Uh, it was um, Colin Moriarty's show, right? Because I out of all of them, that's the one you listen to. Yeah, because because I, I wanted to hear him talk about Mega Man Eleven, but then it went into other some other stuff, you know. But basically, and this was something interesting I didn't think about. So he says that next year is going to be the last year where you're going to see major playstation 4 titles you know days gone last of us um whatever else he says that's gonna be the last year then you're gonna still have some sony published titles but that's gonna be the final year where you're gonna get big titles and they're just gonna wait until ps5 drops what do you think about that i think he's right i don't think we're gonna see like a major ps4 game in 2020 you know we got this huge you know cornucopia of huge big budget hey brad you sound all muffled man is that better there we go yeah okay when we hit the the peak of games this year like we we talked about this is this year is the golden age of gaming it in, yes. in our generation it is the year where things that have been in development with huge budgets are coming to fruition and everything from here out is probably going to get pushed out to to big launch games for next generation like we knew we were talking about that we were like there's so many great games coming out that's because it's that part of the generation and from here on it's all downhill yeah, that hasn't and, changed, people. Yeah, and even Sony's like, yeah, we're winding down now. So yeah, I, I think next year's going to be they, the last they year. Said, they even said it themselves. Yep, it, it, that's coming, people. You know, that's it. Um, no surprise for us though. We knew already. We throw down, so, man. Go ahead, Chris. No, I was just wondering if I answered Brett's question. Quote. Brett, did he answer your question? <laughs> Brett, I think Brett's question was pretty much, "Do you agree with me or with Carlos or Tony?" Uh, actually, I don't. <clears throat> I don't think everybody. Everybody's opinions here are at odds. I think everybody's actually agreeing on 2020. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I had started the conversation with, could they even do it by 2019? But um, no, I was. I was just actually wondering where where Chris was standing because Chris tends to look at things from a, a very company oriented point of view, and yeah. a lot of my. <laughs> My idea is on the basis of Microsoft has to be sitting somewhere going like, holy shit, we can't let this keep going. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. If Crackdown 3 is not ready by 2020, I don't know what they're going to do. Man. <laughs> Yo. By the way, did you hear the rumor the game's going to get delayed again? <laughs> like, bro, what the fuck? Oh, God, uh, man. That's how it's staying in the news Duke Nukem. Point. What the yeah. fuck? It's yeah. the Duke Nukem zone. It's, it's not, you know what it is? It's, it, I think... Uh, 
uh, to be honest, and I, you know, I hate to say this about that game, that game is not going to be anything. Sorry, it's going to be it's 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 a it's it's not a system seller that game. My Crackdown Three is quickly becoming Microsoft's answer to The Last Guardian. It's just taking yeah, forever. But, oh, thing, but to be honest, yeah. to be honest, the Last Guardian was something to look forward to. Oh no, yeah, think, you're right about that. Yeah, I, I, I don't think. Yeah. I, to be honest, I see Crackdown. Even though they spent all this money on it, it's on the level of a Gravity Rush. Gravity Rush is a great game, but it's not a system seller. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying with the uh, with the you know the long development time. But I agree with you. That is not like even though some of the guys are saying it's going to be a big thing. No, it's not. Not. No, I don't think it is. I think it's going to be a well a good enough game, but I don't think it's going to just change people's lives. Yeah, it, Crackdown the, the, was never the, that way. Does that shit come with a demo of Halo Six? I yeah, <laughs> they, 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 should, they should toss a, a demo in there and get really get people to go along with it. Yeah. What's going on, Mighty Nerd? He goes, if I was a betting man, I would bet Sony will use a 16 SPU cell chip and a custom GPU of their own design. <laughs> Yo, my man is always on this shit, man. Mighty, 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 Nerd, man. Mighty Nerd and the cell architecture, he man. He loves that shit, man. He's like, Yo, this shit is powerful. Even IBM doesn't even use that shit anymore. Hey, man, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give this to you. At least you're consistent. Hey, I like that, man. <laughs> By the way, Mighty Nerd, do you like all the, your new friends here on Twitch, man? There's a lot of people here, you know? All right. Oh, other I'll... people. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, people. It's, yeah. It's about half of what we normally get on YouTube, but I'm pretty happy with the turnout tonight. You know, hopefully I'll grow. We're gonna hit that 50k again. Right, man, I'll be crazy. Yes. You know, I'll tell your brother, to go tell your grandma. Everybody wants to watch this. <laughs> tell your kids, hide your wife. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, next story. This is still on PlayStation. This is Brian's favorite story, by the way. Uh -oh. PSN online IDs are fine. You know, you can finally change them now. They're mm -hmm. coming next year, man. Um, Brian, what's your take on this, man? <laughs> I, mean, I should I should add well, PSN IDs you, are coming, but no, no, that's the thing. The PSN, history. yeah, PSN, yeah, PSN IDs are coming, but <laughs> anyway, Should've Brian, go ahead, yeah, 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 Brian, go ahead, lead us off, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know where to start on this. Um, on the one hand, it took them how long to get this done? I mean, <laughs> like, I don't know about you, but I've been saying this since like PSN first came out as a thing, it's like yeah. back in the PS3 days. Back when Mag was still like in production, <laughs> yeah, Mag, that game that came out <laughs> did all right, got shut down, and no one talks about it anymore. And then they shut down the the developers as well afterwards. I was talking about that. Wait, and let's say these we were guys still were... doing a podcast at the time that you were talking about it. <laughs> yeah, so it's like it took them this long to figure this out. It's like, and these guys claim to be for um for the players. This is why I said that they they are full of shit because they're not. Anyway, let me it tell me how you really feel, done. bro. They're yeah, finally getting done. Well done. Thank you. Took you this long. Fair enough. The fact that they want to charge it after the first free one, oh. that's bullshit. Yes, Xbox does the same thing. It's also bullshit. Why are they charging us for the, for name changes? Steam does it for free. I don't understand this. Because, it makes well, Steam sense. doesn't really change your name. They just change, change on top name. of it. You're still using the same name. No, I, I'll, I'll no, tell you. I'll tell you from a. I've, I've changed my name on Steam. I know my other I'll, stuff is still there. I'll, I'll tell you this. Bobby Chuno two one seven. There you go. There's, there's two reasons. There's two reasons why they're doing this. One of them, and I'll, and I'll give you the greedy reason and 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 the viable reason. The greedy reason, which is obvious, it's they can fucking charge you, and people will pay to to change their names exactly and 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 that'll that'll create a source a of revenue of money. number two the reason why i i wouldn't do it from a technical perspective is so these these names or like these ids get stored in a database right these databases have audit trails and and, uh, and audit tables so every time you change your name it gets stored into a record in an audit table so imagine someone like um, like 10 million people changing their name like 20 or 30 times and just how much havoc yeah. it'll wreck That'll on that database. Destroy the database. That'll destroy that really the system. $10 worth of like of That's cost. a going rate though. That's just that's what, your price matching. Whatever 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 queries they have running on those audit tables will increase increase like crazy in order to to search anything on that shit. And yeah, I I I I mean I would I would do the same thing if mm -hmm. I was them. Yeah, it's a smart business move, you know. 
It makes sense and to then, me. And and you and should then, and you should fucking. Why are you changing your name? You're yeah. well, nine, man. Well, since well, birth. Well, 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 Carlos, I'll, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I have a programmatic question. Wouldn't um, the the player database get associated by a unique ID? So why wouldn't changing a name matter? The main the name's just well, displayed. If that. Yeah, like if you add an index to that into that yeah, unique they, ID. So they, but, they, could, they could just do a GUID and it wouldn't matter how many times you change your name. Yeah, but what I'm I'm what I'm thinking is like if there's like when you search for someone's ID, I yeah. don't like I don't know, I'm just saying like this is hypothetical. Let's say they want to search for a user ID instead of the 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 key. Mm -hmm. If you're searching by the username in an audit table, it'll take forever to find it. Like, cause, cause, the, cause the the actual IDs wouldn't be indexed. It would just be the 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 unique IDs. Cause every 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 name gets a unique ID, like a system assigned key um, tied to it. That's uh, how Steam has it. I get. I guess. Well, I don't think this would transact immediately because usually when you change your name, they're like, okay, wait, like, uh, well, you know, wait, uh, one business day or some bullshit, right? Mm -hmm. So they already account for that. Um, <clears throat> amount of time with the searches. Anytime you make a, a major change to your account or something, they're always like, oh, give us one business day. And but it never takes issue, that long, but they pad it. The issue here is all the stuff that they mentioned after the fact, saying that this is may not work for all games. What was it? They said for April, any game that was released... Uh, April 2018, April. yeah. Yeah. That And it's like, all right, so what's going to happen? Just it's going to show your old name, or is the game just not going to work because it's not going to yeah. recognize... Oh, but, by the way, I have a tin... Uh, uh, how the fuck you say it? Oh, a tinfoil, tinfoil hat? A tinfoil, tinfoil hat. hat theory on this shit. I'm guessing these noobs that made they created the databases for these PSN ID names didn't give them fucking keys. Oh. They didn't think about it. That's why they're having that up. Because it, 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 goes back to, it goes back to what Chris said. Like, yeah, Chris, that's true. Like, um, each account should have a good, but then that's assuming that they actually built PSN with competence. And, and that's, how, uh, yeah, 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 I don't yeah. think they did. I don't yeah, think they did. Think I don't think they did. Think no, because, because yeah, you would be able to do that right now. Yeah, obviously. It was and there and lies the problem. That's why they're, they're going to have the issue is because of the way they designed the PlayStation, uh, the PlayStation Network when it was originally created on PS3. Whoever designed it probably didn't take into account that these sorts of things could, you know, no, name changes and all kinds of they other things. Yeah, I mean, the it online is, was an afterthought. It's probably <laughs> the reason. It's definitely the reason why they were uh, they were hacked so many, you know, you know, a, a while ago because they did not design it properly. So what we're what we're experiencing now is is the new guys coming in and saying, "Wait, no, 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 this is stupid. Why? Okay, we got to change this. We got to fix this." They're literally trying to rebuild a building. While the building is still standing up, yeah. retrofit, yeah. Yeah. By the way, Carlos, just to play uh, devil's advocate, because you said, "Why are you changing your name anyway?" Uh, what if you were like twelve years old when you came up with that oh, shit? Yeah. You know, I was, I was what well, on Xbox. I was thirteen or fourteen years old when I made my user ID. When I made my gamer tag, I still yeah. have that shit. But you didn't, use any, you didn't use anything absurd or obscene <laughs> when you made it, though. Yeah, like bang your mom fifty seven, you know, something know, like right. that. Um, but but you you know, because the thing is, I was on the same mindset. I'm like, I'm like, dude, I, I picked my fucking name. Why you, why didn't you pick yours? But like, yeah, if you're like nine or ten, that probably. But, makes but you sense. know what but it is, it, and here's the thing: a lot of people, when remember, it was free. So let's say you just got your console, right? And it's like, oh, create a profile. It didn't. It, no one really paid attention that it was going to be for life. They forget they could just change that later. So people just put a bunch of numbers: one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven. You, you want you shit. They just you want to play. You want to you want to hear something insane. I've had the same play PlayStation ID back all the way back to from the PlayStation Underground. My PlayStation Underground name is the name that I currently had, and I had that back in PS2 era. As soon as a PS3 came out, they're like, "Yeah, you could use your PlayStation Underground uh, ID to create your your PlayStation uh, Network thing." I'm like, "Yeah, all right, bam, done." Bro, I've this been I've been Romu Death on the internet in general since early 2000s. <laughs> you know that shit ain't changing. You know I like I, it. Yeah, go ahead. What what I don't want is having my friends list change like drastically every fucking week. That's yeah. that's my like not a fear, but it's just something that I wouldn't want to see. It's like but, giving people the, the, no go ahead. no no. I was gonna say like you don't have to worry about that because I don't think motherfuckers gonna be paying nine dollars every single time for you. Oh no no, 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 no
No, 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 you're right. But that's that's the reason why I support paying for the change after that one free, like, get out of free. Oh, get, to get out of jail free card. Yeah. yeah. Well, I agree with you. I agree with you. It's like, good, good. Yeah, because you don't want that shit all day. Imagine that you go to your friends and like, who the fuck are these people? You know? So, yeah, well, that, you know, that's a good, see, that's, a good that that's, a, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good, that that's a good, um, I guess, like, um, you know, that's a good reason to have that uh, paywall there, I guess. You know, it's like it discourages that shit. You know, think carefully about your fucking name. How about that? You know, ah, man, also, some... it's going to be five dollars if you have PS Plus. Yeah. Much everyone does. So. Oh, man. Yeah. Five dollars. Hey, man, it's a new Crazy. month. Time to change my name. You know. <laughs> Oh man, that's crazy! All right, but it's coming. I'm not changing my shit. My shit's good to go. <laughs> you nah, know. Man, Actually, that's the question. Either. I was like, who in here is gonna change their name? I was nah. gonna change my name to Gargamel, but I'm not sure. Somebody already has that already. What? No point. one has it. No one has it. Oh, that's bullshit. No one has it. Gargamel. I might eventually, but once I know how the thing is actually gonna work. Because like some places, but kill a pigeon is so cool. Yeah, I like that name. I man. know, but I'm thinking about it because like I'm not too happy with it. No, <laughs> he made that shit when he was. Like, I'm not too happy. Stop it! It doesn't satisfy me. I don't identify as a pigeon anymore, people. <laughs> 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 Brian is species fluid, man. <laughs> that was before he discovered attack helicopters. Oh god. <laughs> Oh man! So Brian, would you like try to make it, you know, one flyness? So you're like everything that you're that on everything then? Possibly. Um, just depends on how I f on how I'm feeling that day. Um, but, <laughs> but, you're fluid, but yeah. son. <laughs> yeah, but I do like the idea that it's free for the first time. That's good incentive. Like, because if I'm like, like a free token, that's fine. And the fact that they, they even did a PS Plus discount, which is like, thank God for that, because dear Lord, Microsoft didn't, didn't even do that, that one. one. Uh, no, they don't. No, they don't. But then but, there's, I think it's seven dollars each change or eight dollars. Yeah. But if remember. you think about it, it's almost not going to be worth it if, as time goes on, people realize, oh wow, all my other games don't work or my profile doesn't change on these other games, and it's like, so what's the point? I'm still, I have two now. I have two names, so it may not be worth the ten dollars. See, so yeah, oh. at least on Steam and on Xbox, that shit just carries all the way over. Your 360 games, people still playing. Pfft, gun the leaderboards on those games will automatically revert to your new name you can log into a game you haven't played since 2007 and you'll see your new name up there yeah that would be nice you know because i you know but that is weird it's like you have a new name and you go back to play your old ass game and it shows your old shit and you get embarrassed like man i named myself that yeah, shit. yeah. the fuck that's dumb that's dumb yeah it's stupid but you know and i really think and Guys, correct me if I'm wrong. I really th think this goes back to the way the PS3 was fucking made. It was. You know? Well, they didn't, they didn't think long -term. Mighty they Nerd, your favorite salt it. processor. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know? You know, I don't think this has no, anything to do with the processor. I don't think it had anything to do But it, Sony, it, you you know this. They, they, the, the online was an afterthought for PS3. You know? Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, I yeah. guess we need it, you know? Yeah. They, that was before trophies and before people were yeah. say They didn't think anybody was going to give a shit. Yeah, exactly. Like it wasn't like Xbox. That shit was built from the ground up with online. You know, mm -hmm. Sony was like, "Yeah, I guess we need to have this shit." You know. Yeah, let's do it to shut up that small or, uh, market right there. Yeah. there you go. Exactly. You have it. Yeah, but but you know what? Speaking about shutting up, I guess people who want name changes will finally shut up now. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's plenty of people. That's plenty of people. Yeah. Forty people. All right, man. Um, and the last story. This one's kind of interesting. This was um a little bit of a mini controversy that was going on this week. So, if you guys and Brett, I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions about this because uh, you know, you actually played the game. So, Assassin's Creed um Odyssey has microtransactions, right? Some people aren't happy about that. Um, and Jason Schreier from Kotaku, he went on you know on Twitter to say basically say like, hey, the microtransactions in this game aren't that bad. If you're complaining about microtransactions, you're being stupid. Something to that effect, you know? Fuck you. Yeah. Which, oh! uh, Oh, Which upset oh, a bunch of people, obviously. Um, so yeah, Brett, what's your take on this? Basically, he uh, said he said. Had, what's had your you kept, real take on all? Yeah, this? yeah. See, <laughs> so he he said that you know if you're going around saying this is anti-consumer or this that or the other thing, you're um you're basically being ignorant. You know. Oh really? Oh, that's that's really interesting from a guy who can't tell his ass from a hole in the ground. Yeah, but to be fair though, Jason Schreier, you know, we 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 yeah, we've yeah, given him props he before. He's yeah, he's one of the few uh, actual gaming journalists, but sometimes he says some shit. I'm like, mm. oh no, I know. But it's yeah. here. Okay, here's you have to understand the the base mechanics on which all of this is predicated on. So, like, are you really telling me that a game 
who is strategically pointing your focus and attention towards downloadable content that you paid money for. Like they're enticing you. That is the entire point. You're not going to make downloadable content and then not enti entice people to try and, and, and look into it. You're just not going to leave in a, a subtly hidden menu unless somebody goes digging for it, right? You're going to hang it out there on a, like a carrot on a stick. And some people don't like that. It, some people like I'll be honest I've actually felt it myself a couple of times because you'll be going through and like the, the advertising on it is it's good it's it's savvy it's like oh man here's the other things you can get it even gives you 200 free helix credits after you finish the prologue of the game not enough to actually buy anything in the goddamn store I think there's like one ship skin or something like that but it's enough to take you to the menus and show you everything that is conveniently priced halfway between the price packs that they sell as well so you'll always have you know, you'll, you'll spend 500, but then you'll have 250 left over, but then you can only buy five, uh, buy it in packs of 500. So you're the next one that you buy, you're like, yeah, now I'm, I'm really, I, I really only want to buy this $500 outfit, but now I still have 250 left over. Like it's, you can see the marketing in it and it, at a certain point it becomes distracting. And it's one of those things where like staring at it, I'm like, man, these are some cool outfits, I, I know it's going to be a huge grind to get them. Otherwise, I think they might be somewhere in the game, but it's like this, you know, high end RNG loot that you have to like go on several big quests to get the, the um, currency just to do it once. And you have a chance to not even get the thing that you want, much less any of the really good stuff. So I'm pretty sure it's in there, but it's kind of unnecessarily grindy in order to get that stuff. So you sit there and I've, I found myself sitting there and be like, I mean, it'd be cool to have that armor, but then I know in my heart of hearts that then once I got that armor, it had like the coolest armor. So I wouldn't really care about finding new armor in the game, in the game and that would diminish my enjoyment. But the whole thing shouldn't have even come up. Yeah. Like it's immersion breaking. You know, it's any issues with it. Yeah, here, here's my thing. Actually, you don't break before I, I get to my little thing. Um, have you noticed it impacting the actual game in any negative way? No, no, because it. I don't want to say the items are cosmetic, but the way that the equipment in the game scales is that any rare or legendary or epic item that you have, you can upgrade to basically be the equivalent of your current level. And so, uh, you know, a purple is always going to have a little bit more damage than a blue, and a yellow or a gold is going to always have a little bit more damage than a purple. That's just the way that it goes. So if you have, you know, an old... A uh, purple weapon, but a new blue weapon. You can just upgrade your purple weapon, and it will be better than the current blue that you have. So you can keep kind of rolling your stuff forward. So it's 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 not distracting because I'm pretty sure the weapons that you get are already set to a level, probably like 20 or something like that. So you still have to upgrade them if you want them to be badass, and they're not really much better than the other gold weapon over there for the most part. Um, yeah, the reason I bring that up is because um, everything you're describing to me sounds exactly how it was um, in Origins. You know, you get your weapons; they have different colors. Uh, but if you like a specific weapon, you just upgrade it. You know what I'm saying? But and yeah, and, and the thing is, like um, with Origins, I did notice that. Like when I was flipping through the menus, like, hey, if you spend this, you could do that. I just ignore it. You know? Um, and anyway, I have another thing. Flag? I, what happened? Remember Black Flag had yeah. all that too, where you can like build up if you didn't feel like uh, farming for stuff for your your ship. Remember, you can buy yeah, all you the, can buy the, that the um, but... and build up your ship and have the badass ship that you wanted, and don't have to do any of those side missions and raid those uh, plantations to get goods. Don't worry about it; just do it now. Yeah, you know, I don't have. A, I don't. Here's the thing. Yeah, I like I, yeah. yeah, I, I like I was ta talking to Manny, but I don't have a problem with it. I only have a problem with it when it starts actually impacting the game. And apparently, what, what's going on with this game is like. There are two camps that, that are like, you know, there are two different camps. Basically, one camp that plays the game and actually does all the side missions. They're like, okay, the progression's fine because they're actually getting enough XP. But the people that just want to play the story, they are complaining because they're not getting enough XP. So it's kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're, they're definitely manipulating you in that way. It's like, if you want to play through the story and you want to get the best shit, because apparently it's like a level cap or something, or level gate, that's the word I'm looking for. You you need to buy shit. But if you go through the game I, the way I would... I wouldn't this is notice gaming it. itself though. Like you have yeah. to put a little bit more grind before you can move to the next area. Anybody's yeah. complaining about that. No, my only, my only complaint is that it, it, it's kind of obtrusive. Like it's, it's definitely, you're, you're aware of it and yeah. they, they make you aware of it. And you know, when I'm like, Oh, what quest, you know, and I get ADD when I play video games like this, especially. So, you know, I'll just be searching through my menus, trying to get things out. And then it's like, Oh, you know, you, 
200 helix credits and i'm like oh cool i got 200 i wonder if i can get anything cool for that that's nice of them to give me a little handout and then i get there i was like oh of course i can buy absolutely fucking nothing um so it's just it's distracting from the experience it's inconvenient at worst but it's not like a huge thing but uh you know it's it, it it's a little bit more than just ignore it i feel like it's about the same level as you know uh, advertisements on the um main xbox dashboard kind of level yeah. of irritating no, I, I agree with that it's it's, it's annoying but I, I tend to ignore it but um and that's the thing is like if you have to grind at least if i'm doing it via side missions then that's fine I, like if it, if it was just me killing the same guy over and over and over again um, it would be annoying. but i understand like if you're just trying to if you, you don't want to deal with all that shit you just want to <laughs> Um, you know, play through the game. You know, you may feel forced to uh, buy the microtransactions. That kind of stinks. Yeah, you know? well, see, that's that's. Uh, oh, by the way, that's just, that was just me that's... being that was just me being devil's advocate. By the way, I, I'm just saying I understand. I'm I, me. You know me, Brad. I'm playing that shit every fucking mission, so it's not going to affect me. Anyway, go ahead, man. You're saying two camps. Uh, well, they, they they fall into two different camps. There, there's the time saver things, which are your XP boosts and everything like that, and then there's your gear, and there's no way to go out and buy or find or acquire the gear directly you you, you there are these time quests <clears throat> they give you or a kelium or some shit like that and you put these into basically a chest that's basically a loot box and you have a small chance to come up with some high-end items and this high-end items can include some of the stuff that you can get through dlc so if you're trying to get a whole armor set it's going to take you fucking forever and it's going to take you forever and a half to grind out the resources for those missions to get that thing. You can't just go somewhere and buy the high-end armor. You have to rely on this kind of loot box RNG system. So in that sense, it sucks. If you're like, man, I really like this armor set. I'm, I, I want to go for it. They make it unnecessarily difficult to obtain. And honestly, I wouldn't even care about that, even though that's kind of a cardinal sin in my book, if they didn't rub your goddamn face in it. If they weren't like, well, here's the our whole armor set that you can get. Doesn't it look cool? Um, you're like, I didn't need to know that. Like, I was perfectly happy with my armor set until you decided to shove this menu in my face. So it's, it's, but, and again, even that, like just having the advertising in itself shoved in your face wouldn't be a big deal if then you could also have a fairly easy way to acquire these items. So it's the combination of the two. It's it's the showing you and then making it obscenely difficult to obtain or exceed, exceedingly grindy to obtain. Um, those two together put a bit of a stick in my craw. Yeah. Chris, what's your take on Jason Schreier pretty much um, you know, shitting specifically on the YouTube guys about this? I, I think it's pretty interesting because, you know, it it sounds a little bit like like shilling. I mean, this is uh, I don't agree with loot boxes at all, and 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 uh, I think a lot of microtransactions are created so that they they're revenue generating. So you hit walls in games, or they put artificial limits, or they're put in heavy grinds, you know, so that they they get more revenue. And to to sit there and justify that and saying like you guys are being babies or whatever, and for for complaining about this, it's like. That's ridiculous. Like th this stuff shouldn't be. You you pay your sixty bucks. You should be able to enjoy everything in the game without excessive grinds or loot boxes. That's complete trash. And and then uh, and and having like Brett says, having menus popped in your face. It's like, oh, why don't you buy this armor? Why don't you do this? And it's like, you know, just like, but give us money, you know. And and it pushes people to to do that because it's just like, oh, I don't have time or whatever, or this is taking too long. Here, let me pay pay into this and what that's what they want to do they want to push you into that system so how, how are you de defending that how is jason Schreier defending that by by insulting the guys calling it out like that to me is shilling right well, i'm gonna call him out on that. that but it's not really calling out it's been there in all their other games i mean it's just pointing it out but it's no no I, i'm not saying it yeah. wasn't their other games i'm saying how is he defending this not defending. It's just the way it is. Just like we were talking about with the digital games. It's just yeah, the way. Yeah, but he's the... not ignoring it. He's saying that anybody who's talking out against it is somehow wrong for speaking against it. That's my problem. I, I think he's tired of people complaining about it. It's like it's no, not going to change. No, him. Whoa, yeah, whoa, you whoa! whoa. About it. He <laughs> That's you, right. He's always talking positive about you, and now you're hating on him. That's <laughs> right. It's, like, no, you. He's be, like, I. I'll put you on bastard being a little bitch and chilling for a company. Oh. 
right? I, I, I here's the thing. I, I dis. I don't want to say he's shilling, but I definitely like, yo, bro, why are you dissing people, man? Because to me, it sounds petty. I'm like, okay, here, here we go again. Like, are you mad at these uh, game, you know, YouTubers because they're more relevant than writers? Like, I think maybe that's where some of that came from. But the thing is, like, Chris, for example, I don't think this shit is bad. Like, like basically, okay, like yeah, I said, like I said, basically, out. microtransactions are in and of themselves are not a bad thing. It's how you implement them. You know, yeah. I, I don't think I'm shilling. You know, I'm just like, right, hey, Tony, no, let me ask you this yeah. though. Go ahead. Um, you like to get all the stuff in a game, right? Um, I like to get all the relevant stuff. Yes. So, do you want to collect? Like, if you find a part of a badass armor set, do you want to collect that whole thing? It depends. Is that armor set the best in the game? That's the only armor I care about. Like, yes, yeah. Um, yes, it is. Hmm. It depends. Well, that that at least the other things like. Does that concern a trophy or not? You know, no, then we have a problem. Yeah, no, because I know what you're saying. There was some really cool stuff in Origins that I think I needed to buy, but I'm like, oh well. See, that's where I cut off. I'm like, okay, I want this shit, but if I have to pay extra, fuck that. You know, um, but right. it's my choice. So, but as long as you give me the choice, but you can then technically I don't care. get it through gameplay. Yeah, then, but that's, it, then it's, that's fine. It's, then that's but fine. Yeah, it's incredibly time consuming and grindy. You'll put in at least sixty hours probably grinding for that armor set yeah but you know me i don't care about aesthetics like does it get, you know what i'm saying i'm not really worried about that but I, I see what you're saying though i see what you're saying though but again i don't have a problem with microtransactions as a thing i have a problem yeah. with their implemented shadow of war for example i stopped playing them when i realized what they were doing i'm like nope fuck this right. shit and that, that was know? a bad system but, but i i, I but think you're not arguing with people who are saying like they don't like microtransactions not saying oh you guys be a little bit yeah no, that's no, no, that, no see i'm totally against like i'm with him on the part where he says microtransactions are bad, I am not with him on him chastising fans. I'm like, come on, bro, the fuck is wrong with you, man? Freedom of speech, man. That's what I say. Freedom well, he can, yeah, he, well, he, hey, listen, freedom of speech. I can call him out on it. You know. That's by okay. the way, that's here's okay. The, here's the thing. By the way, uh, just real quick, uh, shout out to King Wave who subscribed to us. Enjoy that Torrance Davis, uh, <laughs> you know, emote. <laughs> yeah, they go, I mean, yeah, toss a couple in there so we can see that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Jason side, he's always been nice to me. He just tweeted right now. He's like, well, why is Chris talking smack again? I thought we were cool. <laughs> Hey. Yeah. Well, you know, there you go. Right, well, I, I'll, I'll apologize to him when he apologizes to other people. To take out if you are fine with this, that's fine. Like you were like the company needs to make money. This is whatever. It's not. Uh, it's not uh, obtrusive. There's not a paywall or whatever. That's fine. But don't see people calling it out, saying why you why are they charging for this? Why are they putting grindy shit in there? So we have to do microtransactions. Don't say these people are wrong or call them stupid. Yeah, or I'm like, yes, bro, come right. on, son. Here, here's an equation for you, right? I the, the the level of frustration and or inconvenience they have put me through is de is definitely greater than the amount of effort I have put in bitching about it by a 10 to 1 ratio right so like like I've taken about 30 seconds to to complain about this this maybe bothered me for 5 minutes and the effort of complaining about it is minimal but here's the thing I paid $60 for the ability to bitch about that I bought the game. I'm playing the game. I can grumble if I damn well want to. Here, here. <laughs> I agree here's, with that. Here's the thing, though. I mean, one thing, like, I, again, I, I, you know, I haven't gotten to say my say on this sort of thing. I mean, I don't mind microtransactions as long as they're not intrusive. I mean, uh, the best one I always remember was the one from Dante's Inferno, where it was like, okay, yeah, you can speed up your, you can speed your trip up. Like, in other words, you can beat the game. And get through everything, get all the awesome moves right away, or you could just do it the regular way. But when the game starts to say to you, you know, starts to, you know, to, you know, essentially that carrot on the stick sort of stuff, you know, like what you know Call of Duty was doing, and like what uh, it, you know, uh, you know, uh, the, you know, the, that that uh, the the Star Wars game was doing, where they're just essentially like they literally want you to go and do that, and the only reason why they're showing you this stuff is because of you know they want you to go toward that. I think that's when it starts to become intrusive. Yeah. Because here's the thing: it doesn't take a lot. You know, all they're all they're really doing is, you know, as far as the microtransaction, they're trying. They're literally trying to make a little bit of extra bank yeah, on. Yeah. It, I know? mean, it, especially with the Star Wars thing, it really surprised me only because people bitched about them like, yo, but they gave you all the DLC for free. I mean, where did you think they were going to make that money? They're not going to leave money on the table. So you know what? Fuck it. We don't need more money. No, they're going to figure out another way. This is the other way. If you don't give a shit about that stuff, don't worry about it. I know so many people that bitched about them. Like, yo, how much time do you put in multiplayer? Oh, I never play that multiplayer. I only do the campaign. Then what do you care? You yeah, know what I mean? Microtransactions don't appear in the, in the campaign mode. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, but come again, on now. 
to be well, honest. Some people don't with, like them just with, on principle, with, you know. With those games, though, the, when you start, you know, giving the people the ability to buy up to having really good weapons and stuff like that, that's when you start to run into a problem. You know what I mean? You know, when you have online multiplayer, you want parity between yeah, players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. Dude, you know? that's, that's why a lot of this stuff is, is cosmetic. One of the actual things, okay, one of the best uses of, like, microtransaction DLC packs that I had seen was actually in Conan. And I, I imagine you could see the same in, in the new Fallout that's coming out, where, you know, you can build, you know, out of all these different materials of different tiers, and then they come out with pe- cosmetic packs, like, you know, like... Um, you know, it's still in in the wooden tier, but you know, looks old and rustic, or looks new and polished, or whatever. And it's just new skins to build onto your existing structures, or new outfits, or new skins to put over your existing weapons that make them, you know, like glow red or whatever, like that. Like that shit is fine. That shit is absolutely fine. There's everybody has the ability and the right to express their individuality and their uniqueness, and it's a great way to keep the artists and people who actually make the assets in these games. Um, employed and doing things and that's bonus and additional content that you're releasing after the fact it's a whole different thing when you're like okay we're going to make all of this extra stuff and then point me on signs to it as you're trying to play the game and oh we're, we're going to technically put it in the game as available but make it really hard uh, to get like just make it all purely cosmetic skins if that's what you want to do, or if you're going to make it an item, like make it an item that you can specifically seek out, make it so you have to do like a big long quest chain to do it. Just don't leave it up to luck. Yeah, at the, end uh, yeah, of the, day, the you're, RNG you're, shit. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're what the problem here is that you're ultimately motivated to make it a, a pain in the ass or otherwise difficult to obtain through normal gameplay means, because otherwise you wouldn't sell it. So the 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 problem here is when you when you devote yourself to a certain formula you put your motivation at odds with that of the consumer now, right? here's the thing, and you like, don't like, need to be doing that yeah and i was gonna say like if it takes me longer to get it manually you know versus a guy who has to pay for it i don't mind that just don't make it too egregious you know what i'm saying like if i have to grind for like five hours okay fine 60 hours fuck no you know what i'm saying so it's a balance you know what i'm saying no okay but like here's the thing like if if you like got a spear in assassin's creed odyssey right yeah and there was there was a, a place for a skin on the spear and there was one that was like you know olympian fire and it was a sweet golden spearhead that was on fire right and you could either complete it by buying a microtransaction pack for a buck ninety nine, which makes any weapon you have have this sweet glowing fire on it, right? Or you go through this big long quest chain that takes you one to three hours of fairly arduous grinding, but then at the end you get to go up to a temple and go through like a little, you know, ceremony where you put your tort or your your uh, spear in the fire and it it applies the weapon skin, and at that point you can move the weapon skin to other weapons. Right, like you'd still have to go through the grind. Some people would be like, "Ah, fuck that! I don't want to take four hours just to make my spear look like it's on fire." Some people would be like, "Okay, I know what I have to do. I'll go do that four hours." So at that point, that cosmetic upgrade is just a time-saving measure of four hours. Do you want to pay two bucks to save four hours and have a sweet uh, flaming spear? That is fine. That is absolutely fine, and that's just a way to implement cosmetic changes as game stuff. Like, you'll go out of your way to find it. Like, I don't know about you, but, like, I will go out of my way to find a, a, a cool, like, shirt or something like that. Fashion Souls, all the way. I will grind for hours to get a, a, a cool set of pauldrons. This but is... I know where I'm going, and I know that I need to kill this guy. Like, as long as it's focused, I'm not relying completely on a, on a random loot table. Yeah, the, the, the way you explain it to me, I'm like, okay... You got your shit fast. That's cool, but you miss out on this awesome quest. So yeah, no, I agree with you. Like, if you're gonna have to make people, quote unquote, grind for it, at least make it worth their while. Like, give them a really cool quest. You know, like, like I'm like, okay, yeah, you pay for the shit, but did you see the cinema when you put the fucking spear in there and the fire came? You know what I'm saying? Like, I won out, even though I had to do more. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the way I see it. I, I agree with you. Um, but there's no yeah. level advantage. Like, your yeah, flaming yeah. spear doesn't actually, like, it doesn't set enemies on fire, doesn't make your damage go up. It's purely a cosmetic thing, but you would do it for the experience. Other people yes. would say, it doesn't make the weapon better. I don't want to fucking grind for it. Just give it to me. Yeah, Macho Di- Diablo wings. Diablo yeah, wings? Exactly. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, no, but I agree. Yeah, if it's more cosmetic stuff, I, I think it's better because 
you know, I, again, I heard that this game, um, and I don't think you've reached that point yet, Brett. It has like level gates. Like you need to be a certain level to like beat the game, which I think is fucking bullshit. You know. Actually, I'm wandering around doing my, uh, a lot of the quests. Like I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this game way more than I thought. Probably the most since Black Flag. That's so awesome. I'm, I'm actually enjoying going around and it's like, yeah, I could take that for it, but I could set a few more, you know, war supply chests on fire and. Then really just walk up like I did. I I destroyed the opposition so badly on the prologue that I didn't even have to go into the city to find the leader. By the time that I got to him, they had kicked him out of the city. He had no bodyguards. He was just sitting on the side of the road, dirty in a toga by himself. I just Damn. walked up to him and looked around. I was like, "There's nobody within a hundred feet." Just stabbed him in the face right in front of the campfire and walked away. It's like, "Congratulations, you liberated the area." It's like, "Oh shit!" They really, they really hated how this guy was handling this situation. That's awesome. Yeah, again, like, here's the thing. Again, I'm just playing kind of devil advocate there because, again, I'm going to do all that shit. So I'm, I, don't, I don't have to grind for levels, but I'm just thinking about the guy who but doesn't would, want to do you that. would. I mean, that's oh, fuck okay, yeah. Stop, dude. stop thinking about the guy and just picture me in your face. That's it. Yeah. That's me. I don't have the time. I got a bunch of babies. I got other shit to do. And I want to experience all that shit. I don't have the time. Everybody's bragging about that new glowing <laughs> fire horse. I want to fly the fire horse. <laughs> new and horse. I want to do so we could ride off in a posse with flaming horses like you know the, the new <laughs> hey rider. i don't got time but i do have an extra ten dollars so that's what i'm gonna do there you go but tony I mean, you, 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 you but here's the thing like you would do the time saver thing right now i would do it i would do it i would now me i want to experience all no. that shit I, okay, okay. Wait. tony here's yeah, the just, thing yeah go ahead okay so let's say you wanted to get the armor that you had in assassin creed origins right yes which is available it's available in game so you would probably not pay for it right yeah okay but to get it in game you have to go on, be connected online, take limited time quests, go collect a, spare, uh, a special rare resource material, do about three of those, bring those back in, feed it to a chest, get a drop box, and hope that the thing that you want is in there. There's a 95% chance at least that it's not, and then you get to rinse and repeat. So you're going to, to just do that over and over, do these, these same uh, yeah, that's bullshit. kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Regenerating cycle, pro, you know, uh, progress. Uh, I can't think of the word. Uh, no, I, I know. I know what you're saying. Created quests. Um, Origins had the same shit too. I didn't bother with it. I'm like, I'm not doing that shit. You know. But see, that's the thing. Like, what if you really want that armor though? No, I understand. That's I understand. The thing, I'm the thing that really pisses yeah. me off. Like, you could really want that armor. You're perfectly happy playing the game and being like, oh sweet, I just got a new leather chest piece. And then you open the fucking pause menu and it and it uh, shepherds you into another menu. It's like, check out this sweet mummy armor. And you're like, oh man, like that's really cool. Is that something I can like work towards towards the end of the game? Like, I mean, yeah, if you really, really want to. Right, you're doing too much talking, too much on that. You know what you do, Brett? This is what you do. You go, you pay for it, you get it. You watch the video on YouTube of how somebody actually did the mission so that when Tony's like, yo, remember when you had that big fight? Yes, I do! I remember. Yeah, no, exactly, that's what I'm saying. They make it really easy and really convenient to just go. buy the shit. That's it. That's it, and nobody needs to know. By the way, quick sure. question for you guys, because I, I want to know if I'm being hypocritical here. Um, I am not against microtransactions, but on principle, I don't buy them myself. So we just won't tell you. That's all. We keep yeah. dirty secrets. I'm like, just yeah, saying, I did it yeah. that way. No, good. I mean, that's, like, that's the yeah. difference between you as a gamer. Like you as a gamer, you, you hold value in your ability to unlock something. Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, yeah, if you want to buy it, I'm not going to judge you at all. But me, I want to. I want to take the scenic route. You know what I'm saying? Um, what if the scenic route's not available? But, uh, or, or what if the scenic route is like purposely extended? You know, it's like yeah, you're gonna take the scenic route, but you're not gonna be in a car. You're gonna walk, motherfucker. <laughs> you know, and then you see other assholes taking a car. So I can yeah. understand the frustration. You know, mm -hmm. like hey, suck a piece. <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't. I'll, I, I'm not against microtransactions, but my I think my line in the sand is: uh, are they additional content? Even if even as microtransaction, like even if it's just a fucking hat, is it something new? Is it well, something what, added? What's your, how do you feel about the way GTA Five does it? Because you know how you can get Shark cards right? and everything right off the bat. There's no loot boxes. There's no grind or anything. You just you can just straight up buy it. The, my problem with GTA is that they're the economy is so fucked in that, and they oh, they they intent intentionally muddy the waters. And so you're like, man, I'm buying a twenty dollar you know shark card. I should be getting a shitload of money. No, it's not enough money to actually do anything now. It just kind of seemed like it was. Um, 
it, they they really should have adjusted the prices accordingly or something. It's it's. I don't like. I also don't like buying um, things that can affect your gameplay. The fact that some asshole can trust fund kid can come on there and just dump a bunch of money and satellite orbit everybody on the map and and just be a dick about it. Yeah, that that bothers me. If if that same asshole wants to spend two hundred dollars on you know cosmetic items and run around looking like a clown covered in stardust, fine, fuck him, whatever. Um, a lot of times, like I I'll probably fall somewhere in the middle. Like the only time I'll I I have bought like costume shit before. Like I'll be like, man, like I really like this this you know uh, chest armor skin because it's like a, a a cool you know olive green duster, and so I'll I'll just buy that one piece and then you know because. There are some games where you're like, God damn it, I'm sick of running around in fucking stupid noob-looking armor and a skirt. So, like, uh, Monster Hunter, for instance, like, the weapon skins that you put over them, like, I, I would have paid for a cool set of those if I had seen them, and they were, like, a dollar or two. I wonder so. how they're going to do that in Red Dead, because I don't know if you heard or Remember in the last one where you can put the bandana and then go rob and nobody would recognize you because you had the bandana? Yeah. Supposedly now, it's the whole outfit. It's like people will recognize you, so you're gonna have to change your clothes if you need to do. Better that. run around like, naked, you know. See, or I could see people saying, "Damn, go to the shop," and I wonder if the shops are gonna have stuff in-game currency, or they're gonna have straight, straight to store, you know, like the way GTA does it. Like, hey, just buy this card, buy all this shit, they have all the outfits you need. Oh, man, it's gonna be interesting to see how they do that. Yeah, we'll have to yeah. see, but um, but yeah, my thing is again, like, don't chastise your fucking readers. Like, seriously, man, you know, um, and ironically enough, um, Brian's favorite uh, guy, Jim Sterling, he's on the opposite. And he's like, no, fuck this shit. I don't want microtransactions and nothing. You know, oh, man. You know I, love I think them. this is I think this is the only industry where we call paying customers entitled <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's a good point, you know. It's like, come on, guys! Like, fucking nobody's going to websites anymore. And, and YouTube's that's taking over, and you're dissing them. I bring my phone and I record it because I already paid to go in. <laughs> so crazy, I bro! Would take a copy on the go. No, no, no. I mean, okay. Can you imagine going and ordering a Sunday, right? And you, yeah, or you, somebody, you're working a place. Somebody comes in and orders a Sunday, and so you take some ice cream out, you put some some hot fudge on, you put some whipped cream, and you hand it to them, and they go. Uh, aren't Sundays supposed to have nuts? And you're like, oh, nuts are 50 cent extra. And they give you a little attitude. You wouldn't be like, these motherfucking assholes acting entitled to nuts on a fucking hot fudge Sunday. Who the fuck do they think they are? Like, you just don't have that attitude in any other industry. Like, I don't understand where you get off saying that people who say that they have valid criticisms or even invalid criticisms, opinions about a product they spent $60 on, that they are that they don't have a place or I a think, point. I think in, it's in just, he's tired of the the argument. I think he's tired of it. It's more of like we hear it every time another game. They added this and they added that. It's like if shit. That's the way they're all gonna do it. It's not. Well, then anywhere. don't add it. Either add it, make money, and listen to the pitching, or don't they, add it. Those are your two that's, choices, that's asshole. It. That's it. There you go. You're in it to win it. You got it, and that's it. And that's why he got tired of it. So that's it. Freedom of speech. By the way, his name is Adam Brett. Who? God what? damn it! No one got it. Never mind. I'll I'll tell you guys later. All right. Okay. Like I'll see myself <laughs> out. Late call of go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. Uh, let's end. I guess we may make this a f- regular feature now. You know, because we got time. There's there's time now. Uh, what have you been playing lately, man? Um, Manny, let's start with you. Have you been playing anything? Uh, I was actually, you know, again, my, I've been saying my schedule's actually been a little bit lighter these days. So, uh, you know, I'm uh, thinking of going back to playing some God of War. It's still... Well, 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 Manny, real quick, since we got all these new people on Twitch, tell people what you do. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I, I actually work as a uh, colorist in, in comics. I also work as an illustrator in, uh, uh, you know, for a, a bunch of different things. I have recently did a... Um, uh, did a series of illustrations for Konami for the Zone of Enders um, of Second Runner Mars uh, release, which came out, um, I think, a month ago. And I've done stuff for 2K, Bioshock, and also have a game that's out right now, which uh, is actually on Steam, which is called Fractured Lands. I've done the key art for that, and as well as a bunch of other fun little things for them. Uh, it's a, done by a really a bunch of really bunch of cool folks from um, 
uh, a bunch of different studios. They're called um, Unbroken uh, Unbroken Studios. Uh, you know, like some of the leads are from uh, like Santa Monica. There's people from former people from Kojima Productions, Konami, and uh, you know EA. So it's like a you know a powder keg of a bunch of really great people. So uh, I actually at, at this previous E3, uh, you know, had a really good meeting with them on the game, and you know they're they're. They're, they're they're trying to make it happen and i really enjoy working with them so yeah so that's part of the reason why i don't uh get to play games as much these days uh most of my time is <laughs> uh spent you know doing stuff for other for other, other things but uh, i met I recently got off of a big project with the band coheed and cambria uh doing their comic uh, which is called amory wars um, um it's based on one of their albums so uh it's actually the the Actually, the the last issue came out this Wednesday, which is great. There you go. Yeah. Go pick it up, people. Yeah. So my which question, means... my question to you is, uh, God of War, you're gonna try to get that plat? Um, you know, I think I might. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't sound that difficult. I think it is the biggest thing I need to think about is those um, those uh, Valkyries. And yeah, stuff like that. that's the toughest one. That's the, tar- yeah. the toughest. Here's thing. Here's the thing, you know, that people don't realize about you. It's like you don't really play many games a year, but you platinum all those motherfuckers. Yeah, I, I play. I call it playing for keeps. So uh, yeah, Spider Man. I actually jumped in there when I had that extra time. In a few days, I managed to get the whole beat the story as well as get the platinum at the same time. So I did yo, all yo, that in one shot. I think we all, everybody in this. I think everybody did. That, right? Oh, Adam, you know what? Fuck it, since it doesn't matter anymore. So check this out. So apparently, Spider Man has the highest like platinum rate for, for any Sony exclusive. But you're gonna love the percent. Ten <laughs> percent of people who bought the game. But, it's 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 big. Yeah. It's high for a triple A game because yeah. I mean. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, again, you got to remember. Um, apparently, I don't, I don't know if they did like um like a newer study on this, but the last time I read it, only twenty five percent of gamers that buy games actually finish them. So, oh well, for those, I mean, I'm a member of it. I don't know if you guys are PSN profiles. That's well, like, it keeps it. track and it links and it shows you and you can see the top ones of what people are getting and stuff like that. I'm telling you, it's really low. A lot of people don't get to either the Platinums or even help. They don't even beat the campaign. They don't, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. They don't beat games, period. But so, don't we, didn't we talk about this before where it's like you have all these people complaining about all this content that, that's in a game God, right? even, and most of those people play. don't even take yeah, part. Yeah, that annoys me. Yeah. They, like, oh, this game is too short. And like, you, are you going to finish the fucking game? They usually don't. You know, no, it's like, what are you bitching about? You have the about? platinum. <laughs> Motherfucker. That's why I laugh when people are like, oh, the campaign for Spider-Man is only 20 hours. I'm like, it's, obviously, you haven't. I want to see your numbers. Show me your trophies, yeah. your chief ones. Let me yeah, see. Where are, where are you in the game? Yeah, let me see. Because I mean. beat it and got the, the and got the exactly, platinum. Exactly. I don't want to hit bitching unless you already did. No, I mean, it was. A, here's the thing. That most definitely, I, I had a figured that Spider-Man was a, a shorter experience. God of War, I don't exactly know where I'm at. I think I'm in the middle of the game. So, um, you know, it's just, you know, Spider-Man just was a nice, fun, you know, romp. And, you know, I got everything out of it. And, you know, I'd like to see what the, whatever the DLC is. But, you know, next one is, uh, is God of War. But here's the thing. Red Dead Redemption's coming. So oh, yeah, you already know, one. man. You already know. By the way, speaking about Red Dead, uh, we ain't going to be getting that platinum anytime soon because half those trophies are online, you know? So that is it. But once those online trophies come on, man, we're going to be on that shit all the time. You get yeah, ready for the yeah. streams, people. That's going to be fun. Every fucking night. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Boosting. <laughs> yeah. That bo- that's right, Adam. You already boosting know, like man. the old days, man. Yeah, boosting, yeah, yeah, man. You already boost. know. You got to boost. That, that actually works out well for me. That'll give me six months or so to, to flesh out Fallout. <laughs> oh, did you see that new thing about the Fallout? That it is mandatory multiplayer. Especially when yeah. you want to Yeah, no shit. <laughs> no, no shit. It's an online survival like, game. Of course yeah, it is. No but shit. The thing is, a lot of people, they were like, well, I'm not too fond of the multiplayer, so I'll just... Too fucking bad. <laughs> I said, yeah, you can play alone, but you're still in that world with people. You're just playing alone. They don't get it. They thought it meant solo. They're they're idiots. It was obviously online only. Let's just be real. Like, they, they told you on day one. It's not a surprise, you know? Come on, Hey, guys. I got news for you. Dark Souls is always online. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, Chris, what you been playing, man? I actually, I'm almost done with uh, Metroid: Samus Returns. Ooh, that's a good game. Yeah, it's uh, <clears throat> it was a, 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 I don't remember the map being that big on the Game Boy version. No, yeah, it's I was like, there's no. like nine areas, man, and yeah, I'm long. at the last area, so I'm gonna finish that off. Oh, also, yeah. I mean, Chris, I do remember this, you distinctly playing that game years ago, too. 
the original, yeah, that right? The, that wasn't the original. Yeah, the original one. Yeah, I played. Yeah. That was my first Metroid game when I was a kid. Yeah, man. I just gave up because Game Boy is so slow and he playing. Sh- <laughs> I try to go back to those old games like Castlevania Adventure, and you play like, nah, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, man, I don't I blame you. Now, let me ask you a question. Did you have a problem with um, the controls specifically? How small they were in the 3DS? I, I had a little bit of a hard time with them, man. I did, aiming is a bitch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, aiming, especially the missiles. Like I'm fighting the Queen Metroid, you have to shoot her in the mouth, and I'm like, you have to damn lock it, on first. You got to do the lock, and then yeah, yeah there's um, no lock on. Shout out to Ra- Agent Redshirt for subscribing. Enjoy the emotes, man. Yep. Um, and we're gonna do some more things for you guys. We're probably gonna have a Discord for you and all that. You know, we're still working on it, but we're gonna give you some fun stuff. Um, but yeah, Metro. I actually, Chris, you're gonna get that 100. percent I got that shit. You know. Oh yeah, I'm working on it. You know. I just need to beat the <laughs> the last boss and get the uh, baby because I didn't realize that I was like, I got every fucking other weapon right, the power bomb and all this shit, and I can't blow up those green rocks. I'm like, what the fuck opens these green rocks? And somebody's like, oh, you, 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 you. Like, son of a bitch. So I'm, 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 and that's all the way in the back. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, right, man. I guess a good. I got you. That game got me annoyed. I'm like, yo, why the fuck isn't this on Switch? I want to play with my pro one. controller. You know, I'm telling you, you know it's yeah, coming. Man. You know it's coming. TV? I want to play that shit on my pro controller, man. Fuck. You know, I want to put, like, yeah, the 3DS is cool. Don't get me wrong, but I'm like, I don't want to play on this little screen. I want to play it on my fucking TV, you know? I Um, I don't want to. Yeah. Anyway, what else are you playing, man? Uh, that, that's, that's been about it. I just been focused on beating that game because I meant to finish it a long time ago. Yeah. I'm going to fire up GTA later on though, after the show. To, oh shit. Cause they're, they got some perks going on. They're trying to push everything out before Red Dead comes out. Right. Mm-hmm. So they, the, the news wire said like this 30% off of most of the vehicles and all this other shit. So I'm going to go check it everything out. Plus I think you get go. free money. You log in. What's up, man? It's like everything must go sales. Yeah, man, they're just pushing GTA Online. They they make a last push. They say they're gonna support it well into next year, but I, I don't know about that. Yeah, so. depends you... if that crowd is there. If that audience is there, they're gonna cater to them. You know, yeah. Agent Redshirt says that the new Switch is gonna have a cell processor. No. <laughs> it's just gonna glow. You know, Nintendo, Nintendo oh, wouldn't have melt. That. Yeah, shit. Yo, like the last dragon right at him. Yeah, when you got the glow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. All right, Carlos, man, what you been playing, man, besides Heroes of the Storm? Heroes of the Storm. Um, I, I, I've been playing, and I beat, and I platinumed. Oh, Spider-Man. shit, it's not your first That's platinum? Everybody oh, man. Yo, man. Wait, hold That's on, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Is this your first plat? No. Nah. Okay, no. I was about to say. I was Remember, about he to... got My Name is Mayo, the butter game. Oh, then. The <laughs> <butter game. laughs> we don't talk about that here. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Don't you out of yourself right now? So you all... Damn, There's man. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong so, with that. Yeah, man. I, I, I really enjoyed Spider-Man that it made me want to get a platinum for it. Because, it, I mean, it wasn't that hard. So it's like, okay, I'll just do the extra little missions where you just defeat a whole bunch of fucking... Uh, uh, like little camps and stuff, and, and just do a little bit of extra shit. And oh, just man, it's, gonna, it's gonna be tough when that DLC comes because that's like what two days or three days before Red Dead. I wonder how many people. Oh are gonna shit! It. Yeah, that's a good point. But it's a DLC. You could crack that shit on at night, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I've, all, all I've been playing is Spider Man, and I and that's how, what I beat it. And then I might move on to uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey, hopefully. Don't uh, we'll do see, don't man. do it before Red Dead, son. Wait till afterwards, well, man. Well, yeah, yeah. That's that's the thing. Like, I'm 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 I leave in two weeks, so I don't know. I have two weeks of, to do something, and I don't know if it, that's enough time to, for. When you have that catalog, try to finish something that you were like halfway through. Or something. Yo, Carlos, take your switch over there, man. <laughs> oh no! So so we talked about this uh, last throwdown. Um, Brett was trying to convince me, and I, I I'm taking my switch. Oh shit! And come back with a knockoff version too while you're at it, because uh, I think that'd be cool for show and tell. Okay, I'll do that if I find it. <laughs> You'll find I mean, it. There ain't no reason not to. I mean, Tony, when you uh, you don't play your Switch on the go at all, do you? Fuck no, that shit stays in my I crib. <laughs> you know, I got my eight feet old with me, and I, that's why. The only the only place that I'll play my Switch is on the airplane, and hopefully. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't, yeah, that I, would I don't that know. would be the only place I play. I'm not playing that shit in a subway, man. So I'm gonna jack my shit, oh, man. No, no, you can't play in the subway. No, no, no. Well, but I mean, like I, a, wouldn't, I wouldn't airplane, play much. Yeah, go ahead, Brett. Airplane, layover, hotel room. 
Yeah, see, those are fine, you know, but I did, here's the thing. I remember when I went to my first E3, I brought my 3DS, my Vita, didn't touch either of them because I had no time. And then when I got to the airplane, I was too fucking tired to play games, you know? Yo, so, man, I, I got yeah, I, every I, trip I, is a convention. Yo, yeah, yo no, man, but, I, Brett, every trip I go to is a convention. No, it is. <laughs> but there's, you like, know? you know, the, the boring trips, like, you know, like, uh, or the ones where you're stuck in an airport forever, like, a fucking family reunion. That is a convention. Like, <laughs> that's like, if I'm in an airport, I'm going to E3, man. I don't, that's the only place I actually go to every year. Other than that, I'm just yeah. in the crib, you know? That's, that's more of a, a work trip, though. Yeah, it is. But, but that's, that's the only big trip I go on every No, no, no. I, I still, I, I'm still pretty avid on the whole, like, the best way to use the switch. Fuck! Is, I was is muted the whole time. Mode. Yeah, my bad, people. Yeah, I was just saying. Um, I just go. I the only trips I go to are E3, and I'm not taking that shit on a subway. Anyway, go ahead, Brett. I was just saying. I, I'm, I'm a strong advocate of the, the, the best way to play the switch on the go is not necessarily in handheld mode. Yeah, you do it in like you have it on your table, right? And then you um play it. I doc. That's how I do it. I I yep. can't use the Joy Cons. I hate the Joy Cons. So so okay. So you, I think Adam, you talked about this last week. They're like the like you you put your little your little switch on the stand. I have the the, the, the Hori stand, right? And I prop that up, and then I have my eight Beto uh, SNES, the SNES Pro, and that's it. And I use that, and I play, and that's how I do it for all my Switch games. All right, you're gonna have to link me to that. I want to see. Yeah, it. it brings happiness to my life. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's how I play it. Yeah, auto mod. No, that was just me not mute, unmuting myself because I'm a fucking idiot. That happens every episode, man. <laughs> once no, that, that, we call that switch sensor. They he was saying some raw shit, and they're like, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. I was talking, you yeah, here, buddy. Like, yo, turn <laughs> that shit roll. off, son. Slow <laughs> your roll. Yeah, no, that that was in Twitch mod. That was just me being a fucking idiot. Um, orbit, that yeah. potty mouth. All right, Brian, what you been playing, man? I've been playing a whole bunch of nothing. Uh oh. Um, I finished Final Fantasy 15. It was really quite good. Nice. I did enjoy it. The twist at the end was something interesting. I didn't expect that. Um, and I just went through, cleaned up like all the stuff that was lacking. Went through the, the normal dungeons and started doing like the extra hard du dungeons, like the seven of them. Um, took me one and a half hours to get through one. So I'm like, nope, I don't need this in my life. I'm good. <laughs> and I was like. At the end of this, I'm just, I'm just going to get a better wo weapon, and then I'll have all the good weapons, but then I'll have no content to use them on, so hence, you know what, I don't see this as <laughs> an actual point. Yeah. But if you want to go through them and get them done, like, it's definitely a challenging thing, and definitely quite fun to go through. It's just that it's like an hour each, it's like, I, like, it's like eight hours. I, I can finish, like, the order in that time, so it's like, is there really a point? <laughs> Yeah, you can put oh, I thought you could beat that shit. In, yeah, you could beat the order three times in that in eight hours, right, Ryan? Yeah. Wasn't the order twenty hours? No. <laughs> oh, it was like no. It was shorter six, than that. Well, it's about twenty hours if you want to go back to get the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. about twenty hours if you want to get the platinum. But like the yeah. normal game, like if you like really play, if you don't play, because I it took me like twelve hours, but I was like doing everything. Like this shit is really like six, seven hours, you know. Yeah, old school length. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. All right. Anyway, Ryan, go yeah. ahead. So did that, and we watched some TV. Um, I'm watching this show called American Vandal. Um, have you like heard the, of it? The new season or the old season? Um, season two. Oh, with the pot, the poopal. Yeah. Yeah. Poopal. Yeah. So it's like this. It's like this mockumentary where um, what's, what's that really popular one that was on Netflix about the serial killer? Where these guys they go. How to make a murder. How to make yeah. I. That's. What I thought, it is. Anyway. So basically, these people they go and investigate these vandalisms in school, but but it's all fake and it's just there just to mock people that do that type of stuff. And they 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 investigate a real crime and like try to make up like who did it and who did not. And it's it's more quite funny and just kind of like really like not serious but serious at the same time. So mm. it's nice like look at like the world and how people like see certain crimes and like they try and push certain agendas based on. Suspicion, so it's, it's it is quite funny. Um, and after this, Carlos will be very happy to hear. I'm going to jump into My Hero Academia season three. About so, damn yes. time. Yes, and also um, for those of you that are watching at Attack on Titan, oh, I, all I, all I'm going to say is Kenny. 
That's it. Yeah. Yep. So those of you that don't know, you you won't know yet. Those of you that know, now yeah, you know. just just. And if you don't out. know, now you know. Oh, you no. know. You <laughs> know. I'm pretty sure that anime isn't there yet. So yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're talking about. Man, I need to catch I was the fuck up. <laughs> oh, yep, that's me. All right. well, so since, we, since we've we, we've transitioned to Otanime, uh, Gundam Unicorn is on uh, Netflix. So yeah, that's a great play. show, man. Watch that shit. Hmm. Um, Brett, what have you been playing lately? Uh, mostly Warframe. Re- well, hold on. Whoa. No, I'm kidding. I was about to say. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I think you were all you were about to give every single person in this room a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've I've been I've been clearly talking about playing Assassin's Creed all night. So yes. yeah, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. No and more again, Con- I'm, I'm no, really enjoying it. No more Conan for you right now, right? Uh, no, I think uh, I, I I enjoyed Conan, but the there were there were still some things to be shaken out about it. Mostly the um. Man, the build time on that thing, build timer or decay timer on that thing was aggressive. You you walk away from that game for a few days and half your shit disappears. Your so, building just fall over. <laughs> it's it's no, like it how disappears. many centuries have passed? Yeah, it shit just disappears. You got to check on it. I think the wow. the max time was every four days. So if you're playing aggressively, like that's fine. But you know, you, you play that kind of uh, game like that for a couple few weeks, and then you know, life comes up, and then your building disappears. So. I'm I'm hoping that Fallout will fill that gaping void in my soul with something a little bit easier where I can just pack up my camp and take a break for a little while if I want to or whatever. That, so. that, that reminds me of like when you in, in Metal Gear Solid uh, Five when you leave your mother base alone for like a while, then you get back into it again, and then all of a sudden it's on fire and all kinds of other horrible things have happened. <laughs> if, if somebody's stolen all of your troops, they stole your nuke. They did all yeah. kinds of horrible things. They blew like it blew up a bunch of shit. And you're like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> They're like, well, you didn't put enough, uh, uh, put enough uh, fortification. Didn't you know that? that didn't you know base. that they created the ten thousand other DLCs that allow you to protect your base better? Ugh. Or you could take out the the insurance. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, you remember that one? I remember that. That was some bullshit. All right, Adam, what you been playing? What you been playing lately, man? Uh, Mark of the Ninja again on Switch. That's the remaster. Um, How does it play there? That it plays great. I mean, it's I don't know. It, yeah, it plays great. It, it, it's because I'm playing with I guess with the, the SNES controller, so I'm using a controller. But I could see it being a pain in the ass if you're just using the Joy Cons. But yeah, is no, that the fun. is that the one That's by the guys that made one. um what was that of the game Shank? Right? Oh, no, I wish I miss Shank. Shank was another one. You know the, No, the, but they did a game too, another game too, like a side scroll game that was very much very similar. Welcome Melee? No, it was a nin- it was a ninja it game. Was a ninja? Maybe so maybe it is them cuz I've been playing that one and Guacamelee Champions Edition, Turbo mm-hmm. Champions Edition. They put down there and uh Bombing Busters, which is a, a good clone of uh Bomberman, which is still $40, <laughs> which makes no fucking sense cuz it's fucking Bomberman. So I go with that. Well, now you can get all your favorite characters like Solid Snake. And... Oh, please, oh, please. I don't give a shit. I just want to blow up little <laughs> monsters. Jehuti. That's it. Blow up walls. That's it. Blow shit up. Uh, let me see. Oh, um, a new shield came out for the division today called Rebel. You had to get to finish Wave 14 and Resistance. I just got that today. So I did that. That's finished. And what else? And uh, Origin. I went back to Origin. Assassin's Creed Origin. I have no interest right now in Odyssey. So. I figured this. I only put like an hour in Origin when it came out. I figured go back and try to finish that because usually I finish all those ACs, at least the stories. And uh, I didn't even finish Syndicate. Now that I think about it, I've got to finish that too. Oh right. shit! By the way, quick shout out to Private Pancake for following us, man. Thank there you. Thanks go. a lot, Pancake. So that's it. I mean, right now I'm just trying to clean things up because man, Red Dead's coming. Red Dead. Yeah, that's man. Exciting. No, that's gonna be the game that's gonna just you know destroy it's everything, man. Gonna eat your soul. Yeah, I still need to finish. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about me. Um, what have I been playing lately? I've been playing a lot of Mega Man Eleven, uh, trying to get some trophies in there. I really should be playing Valkyrie Chronicles. I got to finish that before Red Dead. But I just been on this Mega Man kick, so that's what I've been playing. I've also been playing um some other stuff that I cannot talk about until Monday when the embargo lifts. I'm just going to give you a very insanely obvious clue. I got to play an up a big AAA upcoming 
first person shooting game that's not Call of Duty. So I think you could guess what it is. Um, Ninja it, Turtles up front and personal. Yeah, I it, already know. Is it Crackdown 3? Yes, it's Crackdown 3. It's, it's the hottest game ever, the butter game, you know? Mm. Um, so I'll talk about that. Um, when is it? I, I can't tell, but next week, next week I'll talk about it. Um, what else? Yeah, just a lot of Mega Man. I've just been loving Mega Man 11, man. One thing I said, because um, my two complaints about the game is I don't like the, the level lengths and I don't like the music, right? But I'm noticing that the more I play, the level lengths are becoming less of a problem, but the music is becoming more of a problem. It's like, what the fuck, man? Mega Man 2, 3, like what happened to this dope-ass music? Like, the, the, they the, fired that person, sorry. No, yeah, but apparently <laughs> what I find out is like... Um, the composer of this game made the, um, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but he made the Battle Network games, and he does have a fan base. They like his type of music. So I guess they're happy, but me, I like the more rocking shit. Like, bring that back, man. That's what I wanted. But other than that, the game is fucking awesome, man. Um, I actually uh, live streamed it for you guys the other day. Manny and Carlos joined me for the, the latter half. Great mm-hmm. fun game. Oh, it, hey, Dr. Wiley and all that. Great it's stuff. it's it's what I wanted Mighty Number no. Nine to be. It's exactly what I wanted Mighty Number no. Nine to be. But I got Mega Man, so I can't complain, you know. And my tinfoil hat theory is that I believe because Mighty Number no. Nine failed, it made Capcom go. You know what? KJ in a ain't shit. We could do it, you know. That's just my theory, at least. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to get back to uh, Valkyria. Try to finish that before Red Dead. After Red Dead, it's over. You know, I can't wait. That's going to be fucking insane. You know? Um, oh, yeah. Hold on. Because we were at Comic Con last week. Um, I did play um, Just Cause 4. That game's fuck. Here's the thing. I wasn't even hyped for Just Cause 4 because I played Just Cause 3. I thought it was, the game was just okay. This shit is fucking crazy. So I, I'm hyped for the game now. You know, the tornado and stuff, the, the crazy powers you have. Um, I also played Tomb Raider. They have like this new co-op thing. I think the co-op fits Tomb Raider better than that bullshit multiplayer. Remember that shit from the first one? That was just tacked on nonsense. So that's so who, good. So wait, you're playing as another? You're playing as her buddy, the, the other guy? Oh, here's what's interesting, right? Like me, I'm playing as Lara, and then like the other person is playing whatever, because each DLC is um specific to a, a character in the story, right? So you, you what you see is your Lara. And the other person's the character, right? But what they see is their Laura, and you're the other character. It's kind of interesting, you know. So basically, much how Peace Walker worked. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Actually, exactly like it. Um, so basically, you have to like, you know, cooperatively work together to get through like this, like you know, maze or whatever. But you could also do a solo if you want. Um, what else did I play? I played Resident Evil Two Remake because I already played at E3. But this time I played Claire's mission. That was against William Birkin, the dude the big eye on his uh, shoulder, I regret to inform you that I did not beat him. He beat me. <laughs> he kicked my fucking ass, dude. Um, I also played, here's a, it, speaking of my games, I was not hyped for until I played it. Devil May Cry 5, man. I was, because I, I was salty. I'm like, man, this, I wanted the Ninja Theory sequel, man. That's what I wanted. But this shit, it was, like, I think they learned from that Ninja Theory game. The, the controls are so fucking smooth, man. So I'm, I'm actually hyped for that, you know? It's gonna be good Funny because the, the new, the, you know, Nero kind of looks like the previous, the, the Dante from the other game now. Yeah. By the way, yeah, Barry, you're right, man. Capcom should, you know, hooked you up with a Barry Burton shirt, man. What the fuck, Barry Burton? <laughs> um. So yeah, that's what I've been playing lately. Um. And I, that's gonna do it for us. So again, um, we're gonna have a contest for Red Dead Redemption Two. We're gonna give you a copy, physical, digital, whatever you want for the platform of your choice that it's not pc or switch and we're gonna have full details for you in in a video we're gonna drop tomorrow but basically i think brett we're gonna go with your ideas that you you know you tell us what your favorite red dead um moments are you know um we'll you know again we'll tell you all that shit in the video you know it'll it'll be fun man uh pull up the graphics here so thank you for watching and listening subscribe to throwdown on soundcloud itunes and yes still youtube follow us on twitch Mixer. No, no, we're not a mixer. We're a fuck mixer. Mixer's done. Erasing this shit. Uh, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. Yeah, we're still on Facebook for some reason. At and we're th- still on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, on, at Throwdown Show. Yeah, all that Throwdown Show links are. Not, they're not located in the description anymore, are they? Oh, well, they're somewhere down there. Hey, <laughs> we got to change all that shit up. I'm just going off the menu. Here. Technical difficulties. Well, they will be when this gets posted. In yeah, exactly. Hours. That is true. Yeah. 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 I guess I'll just keep reading it like always, won't I? Um, anyway, I have been your host, Mr. Tony Polanco. And tonight I was joined by Emilio Lopez. 
thank you very much for joining us for this uh, for the stream. Also, uh, for tomorrow, I will have another edition of Throwdown Draws. Hold on, man. I got to call this motherfucker out, man. Okay, mm. gl Glorious War, you showed up at that last minute, brother. That's our boy Hussein, man. Glad you're joining us here, brother. You already know the schedule, though, man. But, uh, yeah, thank you for joining us. I guess you'll catch the episode on the back end. But, yes, Throwdown Draws, good stuff. Chris yes, Seeley. Oh, hey, hey, man, you want to say you want to say something else? Yes, Go. for another edition of Throwdown Draws, which I'm actually recording right now. <gasps> You crazy. All right. Um Chris, Bob say it again. Bro. Say it yeah. again, man. <laughs> All right. Hey, take care, everyone. Carlos Romero. Peace out. Brett Murdoch. It's been real party people. Adam Vale. Uh got some other good news. Typo Negative is doing a remaster with some bonus tracks, unreleased tracks of Bloody Kisses. I thought you were going to so, say they're reunited. I'm like, how? No, they can't. Well, they, they, they obviously the brought Pete Steele from the grave because he's uh, a fucking vampire. He's a vampire. Right? Uh. I, I still want to visit his tree. They planted a tree in his name and a whole plaque and stuff over in Prospect Park. Oh, shit. That, yeah. And Brian Munjoma. It's been real, people. I'm telling you, I can't believe that you've mentioned it. Didn't mention what? It's Charles' birthday. Is it? Yeah. Charlos, happy birthday. Charlos. God damn it. Charlos. Charlos. <laughs> Yo, it's that all our birthdays sticking. tonight, son. <laughs> Charlos. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you on Sunday, man. Later. Peace. Later, guys. Later. Later. Deuces. Deuces.